Hello and welcome, folks! Welcome to Boston, Boston, Boston Blue Beat. I always get that one mangled there. My name is Swell. I'm here with Agro Craig. How you doing tonight? I am hanging in there, Swell. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I uh, got got a hell of a snowfall here, but I'm excited to heat things up with some spicy guilty gear. Uh, we have a hell of a bracket for y'all tonight. You got no idea. Yeah, people have really come out for this one. So, I mean, we are. I guess maybe. This might be because somebody smelled some money in the water, because this is our first tournament that we are doing since Neo that is supported by Macharina. So if Indeed. you're hanging out in the chat, we got that Macharina link. You can hit it up. There's still, I believe, some coupon codes remaining that you can use to add some stuff to the prize pool for free. There's, obviously, there's some quests that you can do, follow some stuff, retweet some stuff, do the business, and help build some prize pools up so we can make some cool stuff happen. Yes, please. Help us out, help out the competitors, put a little more money in people's uh, pockets. Free codes, folks. Put them to use. And, of course, uh, share the stream around, too. If you have anybody you know that might want to watch some quality Guilty Gear action, we got folks like Elven Shadow in the bracket tonight. We've got Vicky Viper. We got Jace. We got Evo Champ Skeletal Minion. This is <laughs> this is a hell of a bracket for a weekly. Yeah, this is a diesel bracket. This is going to be a blast. And for the first match we've got coming up, we've got Cyborg number blue versus Keisuke. Uh, we've Keisuke. got to get Keisuke in here. Uh, now, do you know these players yourself? I am not super, super familiar. Um, I feel right. like I might have played against Cyborg before, but I do not recall. There we go. I thought so. We got Cyborg as a Boston local. Uh, oh, is new to playing gear, though. Yeah, That's pretty cool. Yeah, everybody's happy that everyone's showing out. And once we can get Keisuke in here, we will get this show on the road. I am very psyched. Only been playing for two weeks and you're entering brackets? Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, get out there. That's Love super it. sick, Cyborg. Like, uh, I'm also relatively new to, like, playing gear at any kind of competitive level myself, and that's just, that's just so endearing when I... Endearing and inspiring. I don't mean to, to be uh, diminishing in any capacity there. It's super cool to see people just, like, saying, screw it, I'm just gonna play. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're building these brackets up, getting them nice and big and full of people, and honestly, I mean, maybe this is just the way I learned, but there's few better you just got to get that experience up there and i just love playing against people if i weren't oh, yeah. doing this right now i'd be in this bracket too right i was like i kind of eyeballing it like when i messaged uh jmd to be like hey uh do you, do you need commentators today if, if jmd said nah i was about to i was gonna try to pop in here and uh play my venom but i don't need to, I, i'm saving y'all the experience of uh, fighting my venom though consider yourselves lucky looks oh, like yeah. we got kaisa kx in here kaisa kx ooh, coming in with a nice win count and rank so probably gonna have some strong stuff so good luck to you cyborg blue oh yeah let's see what this is Please, yo what up <laughs> what up tails see you in chat we got kai versus biken all right biken got them guard cancels uh if folks are not familiar kai is like a spicy shoto yeah biken a very overwhelming character in this game all the Anybody who's familiar with Exert, you know, the Piazami fun times that can be cancelled into various things. Here you can kind of do a lot of that stuff just out of blocking, and mm -hmm. it's very wild, but also very tough to do. Alright, see what see what this is going to look like here. Got some uh, backed off, uh, showed a little bit of respect there, threw a Tatami out. Tatami, very strong move from Biken. Oh, okay, uses the Vapor Thrush just to get up and out of the setup. First cashed out. Alright, just sort of jockeying here, avoiding the Sun Edge. Okay, cut. Another <laughs> Nice little string in the knockdown for the charge stun edge. One of those things in gear, even if your combo doesn't do too much damage, so long as you can secure some plus frames so that you can run Oki, you're usually pretty good on top of that. Nice force break to Tommy. Alright, getting a nice little a couple of nice little blows to the Tommy. They're adding up. The damage is definitely coming together here. Yeah, look at this! Cyber Blue putting in some work here. You got another Wow, carrying to the corner. Already nice almost got the kill. Yeah. I mean that force break to Tommy is that's a big L hitbox. Just one more of those. We'll get the job done. Yeah, it doesn't go quite full screen, but it goes extremely far. Ooh, and another got... guard cancel. Taking it out. That's Look at that. that. All right. All right. Let's see if Ka Kaisuke X is able to make an adjustment here. Biken is a very atypical character with how you have to fight her with the way her guard cancels work. And yeah, you I can. You spring, don't you? Yeah, and I, I feel like because of that too, we're you you have to get a feel for how that particular Biken player decides to play it. Gear being such a freeform game and Biken having a lot of weird options unto herself. Ooh, nice 5D, but doesn't have a follow-up. 
I like that she came down with that, uh, I believe that's her JS there, where she holds the sword downwards. Just clip. Yeah, heck of an air to ground, for sure. All right. Oh, yeah. Active tilt, she hits the floor. All right, I was going to say a little more space control oh. for Keisuke, but time for back on the offensive. Ah, uh, JH, thanks for clearing that up, Tails. Oh, burst on the greed sever. No thank you. <laughs> it doesn't want to let Keisuke get the momentum here, because one more series might spell the end of this round. Yeah, Keisuke looking much more in control here. Yeah, charge on edge for the okay, but the guard cancel. You can't no one just... it. All right, some uh, a button got sealed here. I'm not 100% sure based on the color there, but that's what that uh, overdrive does there. Locks out one of your options, and uh, Viking can choose which one that is. Nice. That didn't end up having too much of an effect, but Keisuke just having a hard time finishing this off. Cyborg number blue just swinging. I almost feel like this is part of a uh, Kaisuke's plan is just see how the Viking player is going see how Cyborg Blue is tr going to try to get in if they can just fill the screen with fireballs and just play uh, keep out with it. However, every once in a while you just gotta go for the round star grease ever. Nice block on the cross up, but he's right five D. That momentum shift, gotta catch people off guard. Absolutely. Like, you know, keep the distance and fire sun edges, but then you gotta pick the time to just let it rip. Oh yeah, I've put, spent a whole round playing patient and then open it up with Miles Dark Greets ever. Oh, I oh, didn't get a combo out of that one. It was already on the floor, so just knocked away from the OTG. Really? Hey, give, give it some respect to the guard cancel after eating that super in the previous round. Yeah, ooh, nice job there, keeping up that distance there. Saw that the Force Break to Tommy was getting used in round one, so not even getting close enough to let the Force Break to Tommy possibly catch out there. Uh, like you saw it go about three quarters of the way across the screen there from Cyborg Blue, so nice... Uh, nice awareness there from Kaisuke. So the maximum range, the advantage is going to be in Kai's favor. That that sun edge will reach. Mm -hmm. Right. Nice. Rocking position here. Ooh, nice. See how that was so spaced out. That JS there, the guard cancel came out, but since the JS hit so low to the floor and was far enough away, didn't even make connection because Kai recovered in time and was pretty far away from it. That was really cool. Yeah, well done by Kaisuke there. Good adjustments and took down game number one. But All right. Still some good stuff from Cyborg, good use of the guard cancels, was definitely like, other than, well, when Kaisuke was playing around it really well, using good guard cancels for the spacing that things were being blocked at, especially mm -hmm. those, like, charge stun edges over their way. Yeah. So, looking forward to seeing how this all goes going forward. Alright, you're still in there, Cyborg Blue, uh, so, whenever you are ready, take your, take, take your moment, and get back into it. Please select your character! I don't know about other folks, but I have a little, uh, I go through a little process for myself in between matches, win or lose, just to make sure that I'm, like, recentering myself. Oh, yeah, I'm a very, very heavy believer in the take a breath between games. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we've got the player side swapped here. we got Cyborg Blue on the left side now, Kaisuke X on the right side now. All right, just checking those stun edges, trying to keep away. Nice conversion off of the random air touch, too. Goldburst to not want to deal with that cross up situation and get the corner for it with a ton of meters. It's a great situation. Uh, Blackbeat combo, but just use the burst afterwards once some elevation uh, was achieved there. Not sure if that was just what the logic was of that particular timing, but it seems to have. Ooh, no, I was going to say seemed to work out, but didn't. Nice, got the nice FRC. The wall but it's good, good. All right. Trying to, trying to land this pressure here. Ooh, Kaisuke X uh, getting close to uh, loss of tension there. Yeah, you don't want to hit negative. That would be a real a real problem, especially oh, yeah. trying to close the round out. But all right, got meter on both sides here. Let's see how folks use. Oh, oh there's the there negative. Go. So now all the meter gone. Huge huge meter advantage for Cyborg here. So got to use make it good use. Cyborg here has a lot of options on how the meters can be used. I feel like we haven't seen too many like Roman cancels out of. We saw a couple of RCs, or sorry, uh, FRCs, but we haven't seen any of the straight up Roman cancels out of Cyborg. And I feel like with this meter advantage right now, you could afford to take that risk. Oh, that was a great, a great anti air jumping over the stun edge and then a full convert to take it. Hold on. Was that stun edge placed high enough so that she couldn't quite block it? Uh, so that she couldn't get the guard cancel? Because it looked like she. Look like Cyborg Blue shifted to a standing guard to try to clip the uh, the sigil from Kai, and then Kaisuke was able to clip her clip Biken with a low. If so, that's really smart. That's real clever stuff. Like you got, you said your stuff. You got to adjust your playstyle for Biken. That's yeah. a great example of it. I'd, if that's actually what the thought process up was there, and not just me looking too deeply into the glass onion, I'm really impressed by that play there. That's either really way. sick. Oh, oh, nice throw, let's go. Kaisuke with a massive advantage here, but a ton of meter on blue side to try and make this up. 
Oh, gets the JH, gets thrown off landing. Nice, and gets the FRC out of the throw as well, so we're gonna be able to get an extension here. Not quite enough, just needs a touch more. Any touch will do it, or even blocking too many stun edges, or getting hit by one. Clipped out the sky, and that'll do it. Cyborg Blue showed up. I uh, was able to get around there, but Kaisuke X able to make the adjustment and take the set. So done. Kaisuke moving on, and we will see what we've got coming up next. I like that it's uh, interesting that Kaisuke X, the tension loss, didn't really seem to change the game plan. Like, I, I feel like it was a very... Uh, Kaisuke X was tuned in that they just needed to keep distance and stay above and out of Biken's threat zone, which I wonder if Biken has trouble dealing with that in general. Yeah, they were definitely using the meter when they had it, but they had a, a game plan that was sustainable without it, of just being able to be like, alright, keep distance, toss some stun edges, mm -hmm. just feel it out. But then when the meter was available to use for like RC's cool throw combos, it was used. Nice yeah. stuff. Smart stuff. Alright, next we got, it looks like, FGC Stone going up against Photon. I know we've seen uh, Photon here before, haven't we? Yes, we've seen both of these folks have been here. I believe they were both entrants last week, and Stone mm -hmm. plays, in my experience, from last week plays Johnny, and Photon, I believe, plays Kai. Also, side note, I know Photon was having some major controller tech issues last week. I really hope that they're back in business tonight. Oh, I hope everything works out okay for works out okay for them. That's always really unfortunate when that kind of stuff goes down. So, fingers crossed, but uh, we should have Photon in here momentarily. There they are. So we got Photon versus FGC Stone. And you said we're going to have Johnny versus Kai? That's what, I, that's what I'm expecting based on what I've seen these folks play before. Okay. So Johnny be versus... Nice. So Johnny versus Kai. I don't, I don't know if I've seen this matchup play out a bunch. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Johnny is not quite the powerhouse that he is in Exert, but still, you know, this is Guilty Gear. All the characters are strong. All the characters have ways to uh, put, you, put you in the ground. So... I would say probably neither of these characters are quite as powerful as they are in... <laughs> That's very Exert. true. Very true. <laughs> Kai's definitely... It might be a little bit more of a struggle in this game, but here we go. We get around our coin? We don't. Yo, yo, Kai with this Hot Topic color. Let's go. Nice nice one. Oh, nice. Uses the burst early. Johnny is uh, weirdly weird to burst against because his buttons are so far out. Cross up reads ever? Yo. Oh, yeah. Proton, if I recall, is the proponent of that cross up reads ever. Nice. So that FRC that we just saw Johnny use in the air, that resets all of Johnny's air options and air movement. So if you, as a, if anybody out there is a Johnny player, or you see Johnny players doing that, it really opens up how much mobility the character has in the air. Which, uh, it's really interesting how quick if you get... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, that quick overhead by Johnny. So, it's that instant overhead, I forget what that Yeah, the TK slash there, where it's like the flame slash. I'm on it. I got the research for you. Oh yeah, we got this. But I'm, I'm getting so, I mean, front of, <coughs> and Senga, that's what it is. I want to play Yozan then because I'm thinking like that is not it. I wanted to say Senga, but then I was like, Tails is gonna call me out if I get it wrong, so thank you, Tails. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, so oh nice throw there from from FGC Stone. FGC Stone doing comfortable it. here. Well, look at that wrist gauge! Give me your health bar. Oh, and another air throw on the tech. Stone is in your element now. Wow. Yeah, it, I gotta say, I feel like when a good Johnny player has their spa has figured out the spacing at which you're not comfortable fighting them at, it's one of the scariest feelings in the world. Order Soul! Alright. Yeah, we absolutely, like, I feel like we saw a brief feeling out period in that first round, but then once mm -hmm. Stone, like, got it locked in, got that, like, comfortable range in, just went off. But now that comfortable range is not so comfortable. We've got Order Soul wanting to run at your face with a sword full of charge, so let's see how this goes. Absolutely. Johnny doesn't have does have a metered reversal, but doesn't have a meterless reversal. So gonna have to hold some of this here, but we'll see how it works out. I mentioned that the coin probably controls the angle that uh, Order Soul may want to jump in at with his low uh, arc on the jump. But Let's DP right through it. Oh. Nice. Uh oh, getting set up. All right, there's the Insenga there. Gets knocked away. Doesn't score a true knockdown there, but still able to maintain the pressure and keep the corner position. He gets level two right back, so another hit will be really, really dangerous. Oh, oh charged up there again. Oh no, so close to stun too. As you mentioned, bursting against bursting against Johnny is so challenging, especially with Miss Biner, because it's just gonna whip and if a player like Stone will happily punish you for it. Yeah, you gotta be really conservative well not conservative, deliberate about where you decide to use your burst against Johnny. It becomes its own its own mini game uh, unto yeah. itself in this. Oh, look how much damage this is out the gate too. One Another touch. air throw on the tag, rocket side set up, can't block that. 
Yeah, that once that mist touches you, that gives an unblockable on the next time the mist finder is used, we get another stun. Hey. Don't FGC stone, stone on a tear. And that like, one. The air throws on every tech just like that, on point. That was incredible stuff. Yeah, I I know for seems like Photon uh, was trying to figure out what they could there, made the swing at the counter pick, but FGC Stone just looking extremely strong right now. And after a gameplay like that, no, no shame in uh, having that be one of your losses there. So FGC Stone will be advancing onward, and that'll be FGC Stone versus Jace whenever that goes down for round two in the bracket. Hey, uh, Jace, no yeah, Jace playing that Bridget, but we, we seriously have so many sick matches, we don't know if we'll be able to show them all on stream because there are things here which could be like you might see this in like a top eight of like a i'm gonna say major not that we always have majors nowadays but like there are matches in here which could be in a top eight of a major yeah, like our round two, is gonna be two of cool players this is gonna be <laughs> radical yeah like our round two has elven shadow jace vicky viper uh our own tails here showing up with some okay quick sick speaking of elven shadow we got elven shadow and I, <laughs> I don't know if I recognize the other player in this. This is Jackie Sparkles. A, Jackie Sparkles, okay. <laughs> a player from the Boston local scene, plays Tager in Blaze Blue, and plays May in this game, and is just a fantastic individual. <laughs> All so, right. So, looking forward to seeing this. So we got May versus Faust. Let's go. This is, I mean, obviously quite going to be quite the challenge for Jackie Sparkles to rise to. Elvin Shadow is a legendary player in this game. Mm -hmm. And coming off that second, coming off the second, a second place, second placing at one of the largest plus R tournaments in the U.S. Like maybe ever, potentially ever, yeah. And we you know, do you have the numbers? <laughs> yeah, second, Elven Shadow, second place, coming back hungry, coming to collect some bodies. Oh right, but yeah. Sparkle, such an aggressive player, so perhaps this can knock the Elven Shadow out of the comfort zone a bit. Yeah. Okay, it's, I like this uh, May color on the stage, too. It's very aesthetic. The uh, pink and the black works out quite nicely. All right, so we got... Thank you for the JH by Elven Shadow, just to at least disguise here, because Jackie continues to want to go to said skies and mm -hmm. get jabbed out. Yeah, it seems like a, this is the play here. Get those items up and force May to not... Or force it so that May cannot get in and has to create an awkward approach there. Nice gets hit with the overhead kiss. What a command grab. Let's give the tiny guy with the anchor a running bear grab. Love it. Dolphining in here. Got some pressure. So this is not terrible. Oh, never mind. Into the mini Robokai, catches the JH, and that is that. All right. Round one to Elven Shadow. Let's see what the round starts okay. going to be here. Just Jay is such off. a high damage character that, like, it won't take that many opportunities to get all the damage that Jackie needs. Mm -hmm. And while Faust does have some awkward body placements, doesn't really have a strong reversal without meter, and even then it's kind of a weird reversal. Of course, when you're a player like Elven Shadow, who has impeccable defense, has been playing this for so long, really hard to try to fight through that defense. Going my way beats out the Dolphin. I actually didn't know what, what to expect there. Right? <laughs> this is a wild matchup here. This is so fast and furious compared to the spacing that we were seeing in that first match on the screen. Absolutely. Oh. All right. Nice anti air. Oh, oh great Kamana. Let's go. Out of the J JD. Close to stun here and able to close it. Nice. Gets around. All right. One more. Hey, aggression serves is the order of the day and it serves well. Gets counter hit by the J2K, but it's quite barely able to check out before it gets when you're when your tricky low is also a very good uh, anti- or your tricky overhead is also a very good anti-air. Ugh, I hate that. I get hit by it so much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Alright, get hit by the JT or the 2K, and this is gonna be a pretty big combo. Avoid the 6-8, that thing's unlockable. You gotta get out of there. Nice, force break Pogo to keep it the pressure in the corner. Into the poison damage! Oh, going my gonna, way. It's gonna erase the guts, too. Ugh. That you hate way. to be poisoned when you're low health. Like, guts will save you sometimes, but poison will just erode that immediately. I feel like there's this thing that happens when you fight extremely high level Guilty Gear players where you, you, you get around and then after that you're feeling nice, cool, and then they uh, walk in and like, oh, that that was cute, and then yeah. you suddenly feel smothered in the corner. Right. <laughs> the, Pogo, the Pogo is quite the move in this game. You have so many options off of it. Yeah, and... Force Break Air Pogo, Air Pogo yeah. especially, is just... That's brutal. Oh. Like, you know, you have like, you're trying to just poke Faust out of the air while he's throwing bomb bags at you, and then boom, force break Pogo right on your head. Mm -hmm. All right. He tried to get with the fish, or not the fish, the real, I, I call it real and then sometimes in my head, so that's what I was thinking with that move there when it sticks out, but it didn't quite work. All right. All right. Trying to get some space here. We got mini, mini Faust on the way. You got to be careful with that. It's better to be Pogo out of the air than on the ground. Most likely. Counter hit 6B, you get a lot off that. 
All right, on the other side of the mini Faust, so that's no, no, no longer a problem, but you still got that big Faust, which is definitely a problem. Oh, Dolphin, Dolphin manages to thread the needle against Lug there. You can see... You can see those 5Ks being thrown out as Jack is jumping around. If you get caught by one of those, it's gonna hurt. Oh, good oh, RC, low. that was lovely. Hops forward to exactly the right position to put that flower in. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the drill kick uh, into the pressure afterwards. May trying oh, to find a way out. The hammer and flower, brutal. It's damage, so much damage already. It's only 13 seconds yeah. into the round so far. Look how much is on Jackie Sparkle. <gasps> God. Oh, and the reversal super. No. That's Faust's that only real reversal, but hey, he's got it. Yeah. Oh, for 80 frames. I found that one out recently. Jeez. It is, yeah. Incredibly active. Also incredibly, incredibly unsafe. Those meteors are going to be real hard to deal with. Look at this wall of stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, when you have that little life and that little meter, dealing with meteors is just oof, absolutely <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, uh, unfortunately, that would, did not go Jackie Sparkle's way. Elven Shadow advances onwards. Jackie Sparkle is sent to the lower half of the bracket. Best of luck, luck to them. Uh, seeing who it, whoever they go up against next, or rather, against whoever they go up against next. But for now, Elven Shadow advances onwards. Whew. What a match. I don't think I've seen uh, favor or May versus Faust before. I like that matchup, though. That's, like, very much wants to... Yeah, classic uh, wants to get in versus wants to keep out. Yeah, it's Crazy. definitely one of those matchups where, like, as a Faust player in another game, Faust has all the <laughs> buttons possible to anti-air, the air approach that May wants to do. May has a ton of incredible air buttons, and Faust has a ton of incredible anti-air buttons, so it's just, whoever's using those tools well is gonna mm -hmm. get the advantage. Oh, we got Fellow versus Cyan Plaza, so we have another Faust versus my favorite character in this particular video game, Justice. All right, yeah, Fellow versus Cyan Plaza. Cyan Plaza, is, yeah, I fought them in a gear league recently, and they were pretty, the pretty strong player. I've been uh, growing quite a bit since I first played them, so I'm eager to see how they do up against Fellow here. Absolutely, a Fellow, a regular Boston Blue Beat competitor, heck of a justice player. So I'm, I have played this matchup myself, and uh, well. At Frosty Fastings. So <laughs> I'm very curious to see it play out here. I had a difficult time in it as Justice, but mm -hmm. that's also partially an inexperienced thing. One thing about the matchup that I did notice from the Justice perspective mm -hmm. is that the nuke patterns that Justice has access to, you'll notice one of the, none of them cover the scalpel pull angle. Oh no! It goes right between the P and K nukes. So you can, you can do some manual detonation callout stuff, but that's true. Yeah. That you, it's, you have to be really heads up for that and ready for it. And of and, course, if Justice gets hit, all the nukes vanish. So if you bet wrong or guess wrong or miss, then yeah. you're in a lot of trouble. I use a similar thing with Venom. I'll do the D set uh, with a ball because that one goes all the way across the floor. And none of, aside from manual detonation, none of Justice's nukes cover the floor. So, right. yeah. All right, though. Let's see how Sign Up Pleasant goes here. Oh, immediately. Bombed out. Alright, nice, nice bit of damage here, but there comes first nuke, and... Sir, meteor, there. Gotta... there they are! Nice use of burst there, gets out of things, force break door to go in. Alright, yeah, see, ooh, nice catch with the drill door kick. Thing you gotta constantly be mindful of, because that... Ooh! That this counter. is a 2S with the counter, I'd love to see it. I've noticed there's multiple ball. characters that have hitboxes with, uh, with their tongues in this game. It's kinda weird. <laughs> you know, yeah. everybody has their thing. That's right. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, you love that from above. Ooh. Goes for a risky teleport there with the uh, with the Wait, spy extension. Wait, to call out the scalpel pole, and yes, the, sometimes that behind door can be caught by nukes if they're just coming out because they're kind of still behind dust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, navigate. the hitbox on them is so large that once they detonate, yeah. All right. Major life lead for Tello, but oh, gets hit by six eight. Got life oh, this is a lot of damage. Mostly evaporate. Oh, Blocks up, it. Block, manages to block the Michael Blade. Not sure what the thought there was with the with the dust. Didn't quite work out. Gets caught by the nuke. Oh there. yeah, the the love lands right on the nuke, and then the nuke blows up too. Brutal. Nice five K, but no follow. -up. All right, loves him. Oh, loves the nukes getting tossed around here. Oh, that sounds much better. Very much like guilty gear. Ooh, there doesn't go. get a full punish off of the... Yeah, that block from speaking. above, you can definitely get nasty stuff blocking that, but... Time Plaza getting away relatively unscathed, and now the Dukes are in play. Ah, tries to use the Wheel of Men. 
Ooh, yeah, gets tries, to hard it tries to hard call out with the counter, but does get it. Nice life lead now for Cyan Plaza. Pulled into the mini Faust. Gets a, some more damage tacked on here. Pushed full screen, though. So, right, does, does it again? Okay. And there's the explosion follow up. No burst here either for Thello. So, Thello yeah. is having to hold this. That's a big ol' life lead for Cyan yeah. Plaza here. Yeah, and without without really a lot of meter to work with, it's going to be tough to this is safely advance hard. on Faust. You could yeah. kind of just sit there and throw items and not fight with the drop dog. I, I, I do feel like Scion Plaza didn't have to give up that much space there since there's not much resource. Either way, though, worked out. Yeah, makes the bet on the re re, -re and gets the job done. Well done. 1-1. One, one. I will say one, one. one thing about this for Scion Plaza. They are, or one thing. I've been saying several good things about them. <laughs> uh, they are very good at identifying uh, when something is working against somebody and then just laying into that option very heavily. So. Yeah. I, I can. I feel like I'm seeing that put into effect here when, when we're seeing how much the real one is uh, being used here. Yeah, there it is again. Pulled through the pan too. Absolutely. This the uh, free arena for us. That's really getting a ton of mileage. Five Ps through the superior. That was that really was beautiful. Beat. I love the new games. <laughs> Not like a ton came of it, but it was really cool. Checks out after the flower gets the throw. This should be Wait, big damage. Did the flower blow up the counter stance? I believe so. Huh. Wild. Yeah, oh, the counter doesn't hard. counter low. It's not oh, as good as some counters in the game. Oh, the force break chop! Mufas into the force break chop, gets up and above the superior trance, nukes out there on the field, catches with the wow. hammer, gets a juggle after the door teleport off the hammer hit? Yo, Sonya yeah. Plaza! I can't even tell if that, like, the force break door crossing up caused the hammer to hit, and then into the door itself. Like, that was... If that was, once again, one of those things where if it was on purpose, that was super cool. It's... I don't think Cyan Plaza would tell us. Like, we could ask, and they, they may say yes, they may say no, but they would tell us in, like, a joking response where we don't really know what the answer is. It was cool as heck, nonetheless. Oh, absolutely. I'm not, All this right. is, well, I love it. Okay, cool. So that's All one right. game up for Scion Plot. Let's go. Yeah, we need some adjustments from Thello. Gotta be ready for the scalpel pull, you know. Mm -hmm. See what you can do to get some space here. Gets hit by it again. Doesn't, yeah. Not able to pull it in, though, for the follow-up hits. I mean, also, with, with a, such an immobile character, you're not really... What do you really do, even if you block the scalpel? Like, you can't, like, get across the screen to punish it, so... Yeah, right? Maybe it like, totally makes sense for Cyan to lean on it. And, like, I don't think it's that minus, either, so I don't even know if... Even if there was meter, could you... Yeah, like, you could, hard, I mean, you could hard call it out with Michael Blade, I guess, but even then, you're just doing a bunch of damage, and that's kind of it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you can tell Fellow really wants to hard... Like, get the actual counter on it, but mm -hmm. that's not a commitment. That's a very Six hard game. Yeah. Not quite. Hex out. Get Cops two days. Cyan Plaza making it happen here. Fellow uh, on match point for getting sent to lower half the bracket. Yeah, really seems like struggling with this particular point in the matchup. There you go, though. Give Fellow enough opportunity to get that Valkyrie Art counter, and they will do it. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, looks like the real one is minus 11, so hypothetically might be able to microblade swat it afterwards, but like you said, that's not really necessarily worth it. If all you got, you might take it, but it's yeah. still just such a meter expenditure. It's up and over right, the log. Oh, the the nice the RT pressure. there. Oh, good use of the force break Coco drop, too. Just with the 5k, almost almost closing it out here against Stella. Comes in from above. Oh, oh no. you gotta make this count. Needs that pressure here so badly. Catches with the 5k oh. and able to close it. Ah! Oh, you Cyan got Plaza. Yeah, Stella wasn't quite able, like, able to make the punish after that really high up burst count and didn't get another opportunity afterwards. Nice yeah. and done by Cyan Plaza. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. It's with the from above counter, or sorry, punish. With countering from above, you kind of need to like let it get closer to the floor first, unless you're ready for your launcher to knock Faust upwards, since like his body is weirdly like flipping through the air. Yeah, it's, it is it is a free punish, but it's a slightly awkward thing positioning-wise, because you can't pull a trigger on it too early. Absolutely, but Cyan Plaza just, I mean, leaning hard on that option, and it worked well. Yeah. Nice, right. that's gonna be fun. Our next match here, we're gonna have Vicky Viper going up against Undertow. Vicky Viper gonna be rocking that Kai, player of many, many games, and Undertow, oh, I've definitely seen Undertow play here before, right? Undertow has played a handful of different characters. I'm actually wondering what they're gonna bring to the table here. I know that they play, well, Viking in Exert, and I, I believe they've been working on some Viking stuff here as well. I believe mm -hmm. they also play Venom in Pulsar. Okay. 
So, got some options here, and both of those characters are hyper to watch. And Absolutely. Undertow yeah. is a heck of a player, too. So, I'm always excited to watch Undertow play. And Vicky, obviously, requires no real introduction to anybody who's been watching our bracket as well. She's been cleaning mm. up lately. So, nice. absolutely brings something to the table. And winner of this gets the uh, gets the reward, if you can call it that, of fighting nuclear cheese. So, see how that goes. And we had Undertow in here. We'll get get both our players in here. And if you haven't already, please do consider hitting up the Match Arena. It's free. The code should be in the link. You can contribute to both this prize pool tonight with for plus r and you can also contribute to the prize pool for the blaze blue tournament as well that the boston blue beat folks run please do consider contributing to it it's free takes you maybe two minutes of your time to go ahead and do it you don't even have to make a matcherino account you can just use an existing account of yours i just use my twitter so you know just get in there and do it speaking of my twitter feel free to follow me at at swell ggs <laughs> yeah we're trying mean, to we got this nice matcherino stuff going on to try and you know, grow the scene in another way. So we absolutely appreciate everybody contributing anything they can, or just the time to hit up those cool co codes to get us some more stuff. Yeah, please do. And so Undertow, is Undertow from the Boston scene uh, themselves, or has just played in the tournaments for Boston Blue Bean? They have been. They moved from here down to Florida, I believe, at some point within the last year or so so okay. we, miss, we miss them greatly but um, yeah they were definitely been around around and we're a fixture of our scene before piecing out mm -hmm. well, you love you love to hear the nice vibes though we miss you on your toe Aww. <laughs> all right uh -oh. Ooh. may have had a missed check-in we may have spoke a little bit too soon so sorry for that Hopefully we'll have another match here coming up shortly for you all. We do have a lot of other good matches here in the round two of the bracket, so should have something to pull for y'all. Actually, round three of the bracket now as we're advancing onwards. So, we'll see what we can pull for y'all. And, yeah, it looks like our... Our, one of our usual commentators, Tails, uh, went over in some off-stream action, went over Lem. And so Lem is in the lower half of the bracket. Lem rocking uh, Cliff, if memory serves, right? I believe they played a, they might have another character somewhere hanging out, but I think that we've seen a lot of Cliff with Lem. I've been playing a lot of Cliff myself lately. It is a, it is a fun side project in addition to the Venom. Nice. Uh, uh, Lem did play Cliff in the Tails match, and uh, yeah, so Tails advanced onward, uh, and that Tails will be fa facing whoever advances from Jace and FGC Stone, and looks like Undertow is advancing to fight up against Nuclear Cheese, possibly. We'll see when that match goes down. Darn, we should have snagged um, Jason Stone. That would have been fun. It looks like they're already playing. Oh, unfortunate. Dang. Well, sometimes it's how it goes, though. Dude. So we're gonna we got our, some really cool round three matches here. We'll see what we can um, mm -hmm. see what we can grab for stream. I'm still I'm still losing it over that Cyan Plaza match. That was yeah, that was awesome. Some stuff oh, that I oh, all right, all right, Undertow versus Nuclear Cheese. Let's go. This should be a uh, a wild time. So Nuclear Cheese has been. God, this chat will never f let me forget my, my Cliff comments. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we've got Soul going up against Biken. Awesome. And like these these players have certainly played each other a fair bit in the, over the time, so I'm looking forward to this. Alright, so Nuclear Cheese, one of the favorites to at least get the top three. I'll have to see how Nuclear Cheese does up against uh, Elven Shadow if they are able to win this match. Oh, that's a gorgeous bike in color. Yo, someone buy me that robe. I'm dying my hair that color if someone buys me that robe. Please, this is, I'm not even kidding. Please. Oh, caught with the tail end of the gun flame and gets caught with the sidewinder. Not a clean hit, though. All right, oh, Tatami uh, just backs away from it, though. This would be interesting. I don't think I've seen Nuclear Cheese fight a biking before. Since Nuclear Cheese plays so hyper-aggressive, I'm wondering how uh, Nuclear Cheese is going to have to work around Biken since Biken can yeah. be right there with the guard cancels. Let's go. Yeah, you got to be careful. Like, all that regular pressure. Work it out. There's so much meter on Cheese's side. There's that Grand Viper RC to keep the pressure mm -hmm. going. 
keeping it up here. Oh, nice deal with RC after the 2D to try to get to a confirmed situation there. Didn't Great quite work out. Here, and you are dead. Yeah. The Roman cancel after that 2D didn't quite work out, but was still able to turn it into a winning situation. You use that, that what, 3 frame 5k from Soul to yeah. clean up with things. Tommy got. Tell me, guys, she's the heck out of that riot. They have no time for that. Again. Nice. Oh, using the Tatami there. Very nice job getting at that low angle there. Nice FRC after the fall of Tatami on the floor to try to maintain some pressure. But not quite able to keep it up here. And Sol Nuclear Cheese is able to turn this into a scramble situation rather than Viking's advantage here. Gets a throw. What's the setup going to be? Oh, just checks with the two piece. Nice. Very, very polite 2K. There you go. Run up Wild Throw, though. It's like we return to a bit of a neutral situation, but then Wild Throw into a handful of Sidewinders and mm -hmm. full meter, another throw. Oh, catches the throw there. Comfortable. Oh, oh nice guy. Run up grab. Let's go. Tyrant Rave RC tries to run up Wild Throw. That was sick, but it didn't quite happen. Still. I like the use of it though either way because it puts the I mean it took the round so or took the took the round and thus the game for nuclear cheese so big ups there but I really like the use of the RC into the wild throw just because it um, leaves bike in guessing when is it going to be something where I can get a guard cancel and when is it going to be something where I have to account for getting thrown. Absolutely, but like and then like if you cheese because of the incredibly aggressive playstyle, it always has meter and large supply, so it can just do. Mm -hmm. Tyrant Rave RC and run up, and it's like 75 meter, I got it, whatever. Alright, back at it here, game two. Oh, we used the 5k, nice confirm off of it here. Oh, oh, really? We got these loops? Black beat, but cheese will oh, give you, okay. take every extension you can give him. Oh, what's oh, the JH and then tries to get a follow-up button? Doesn't get too much out of it there. Undertow able to, to score a throw, but not able to turn it into big pressure. I wonder yeah. if I can... I wonder if that's just the way it is with Biken under ground throw. Can't get too much out of it. It might well be. Like, it's like Biken, you know, with all the guard camps and all the positional control, it tries to, wants to be able to set up, but you can, it's so hard to do that against nuclear cheese. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Ooh, yeah, that angle. Uh -oh. Get off of me, please. Jumped out to not want to deal with the crossover situation one bit. Tries oh, to, there jump we go. back to Tommy. We dancing in the air. I love this. It gets a counter hit to Tommy, but the positioning is a little too awkward to get a full combo off of it. Mm -hmm. Knockdown! Blocks it. Been able to RC and get out of the situation there, so not really able to score a punish, but was able to score something in the scramble afterwards. <gasps> oh, Volcanic Viper! The... Yeah, it gets caught by the VV, and that will finish that one off. Alright, that's set point to Nuclear Cheese, but Undertow is looking a lot more, a lot more handy mm -hmm. in that round. We'll see if they can make this go. Look at this Yeah, look at this! Combo. Look at this there you go. Here you go, Undertow! We are 13 seconds into wow. the round, and Soul has, what, 20% of his HP left? Let's go! Oof, but responding in kind here, ready to let it rip, but gets that angle to stop the momentum. Oh, this catches is the stagger, of course, there's the Tommy. Keeps up with the pressure. Oh, gets caught with the anti air. Wonder. So much damage here. Oh. I want to see Undertow's going to the round here. I want to see this nice. purple biking on stream more. Oh, ah, nice let's use go. Mr. Tommy just to stop that advance. That stop sign is real, real strong. And you know the cheese wants to run up, but I think it's just a matter nice. of time before we see a volcanic viper through one of these tatamis. Oh, you know it. it's going to come out of this. Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't seen more. Blocks the right stomp in the air. Right stamp in the air. Nice. nice. Use the guard cancel there. Just Perfect the guard cancel follow-up for the, the volcanic, volcanic viper. <laughs> oh, nice air throw, though. All right. Both sides got some meter on hand here, so we can see some explosive action here, or try to make something safe afterwards. Oh, counter hit. Not able to get the full combo out of afterwards, though. Wow. Great Damn. presence of mind to get more out of that, even though the <laughs> wall bounce took the size push in. Nice use of the Roman cancel there to try to get the extension. Unfortunately, didn't quite pan out. Okay, RC's the Grand Viper. Back and away here, uses the tatami to protect the skies and block out the approach there. Blocks the Bandit Bringer, gets another guard cancel there. That's like the third, fourth time we've seen the Bandit Bringer get stuffed by the guard cancel. I'm surprised yeah. that Nuclear Cheese keeps going back to it. Absolutely. Oh, oh, wow. Fourth, fourth break side rider? Side rider. Just raw? Wow, that was a, di a spicy burst, but just so happened to be in a great position. Catches with the Grand Viper and able to Volcanic Viper afterwards. <laughs> oh, just want to get back to the ground. <laughs> GZ, VV, GG. Damn. Not being allowed to just land. Like, whew. Undertow absolutely showed some great signs there, just having the right guard cancel picked out for a lot of those situations, but she's just continuing to bring it. And also, like, you know, we mm -hmm. like to talk about how nuclear cheese is just a 
constantly cranked up to maximum speed, but, you know, you saw them making some playstyle choices about the bike and matchup, like, you know, the Oki gun flame, you know mm -hmm. it's gonna get blocked, not necessarily being right up in Viking's face. There was more respect for given for the guard cancels. Which, you know, there's not there's not only one speed to nuclear cheese, and I respect that. I mean, that's the scary part when you fight a really aggressive player, is when they also recognize how to dial it down, and then suddenly you're like, wait a second. Uh -oh. they, they can do they can go more than one speed? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, so it looks like our next up here, we're going to have Kaisuke, who was on the Kai that we saw a little earlier today, going up against Elven Shadow. Tall order for Kaisuke, but we'll see uh, how they can do against it. Absolutely. I mean, when you take a look at your bracket and you see Elven Shadow in your path to try to get out of Winter's side, you got to be mentally preparing for this matchup. So yeah. hopefully Kaisuke has had some time to refresh some potential options versus Faust and maybe watch some guilt, some of the Frosty Faustings footage to get an idea of how to approach things here. Yeah. Now, neither one of these outfits, unfortunately, as aesthetic as that purple and black bike in, but we rolled what we got. Let's go. Yeah. In that previous <laughs> matchup for Kaisuke, we saw a lot of just stay keeping distance and using Sun Edge. That's mm -hmm. not going to be nearly as fun in a matchup like this. It just gives Faust time to find exactly the items that Faust wants. Mm -hmm. And that's brutal. Oh, gets hit by the overhead. There's the follow-up. Follow -up. Yep, and now you're cornered against Faust, and here comes the mix. Scary stuff nice here. Box. So much meter for Elven Shadow right now, too. Might even be able to find a way to... Nope, wasn't able to find a way to close it out there, so Kaisuke is not quite yet gone. Mmm, but that does it. Good way to on the 5D. The... You know, KSK tried to take an opportunity there to jump out of the corner, but great, great anti air by Elvin Shadow maintaining control and went around. All right, we got some movement here. There are these players mm -hmm. sort of jockeying positions, but ooh, get catch, gets getting caught, caught with that far there's S. Here and there. There's been so many hits with that far S from Faust wow. and Kai KX. Ooh, this so damage! That Look at that! That combo was actually lit. <laughs> wow. That was super sick. Catches with the dust, there's nice burst on D. hand here. Good follow-up. Looks like Elvin not feeling the need to spend the burst yet. Grab the donut, nice. Alright, love that on the floor. Trying to jump in here with these uh, J with the JD. Oh, Catches with the wheel of men. Ex uh, I, I thought there was going to be some. Okay, so that, that that had to have been a missed up uh, confirmed there off the RC. I thought I there was going to be some suspicion that was an instant kill. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought that was going to be something really clowny there with the uh, with the RC. <laughs> like RC I into from above. Weird maybe? suspicion that was going to be some some messed up stuff. <laughs> All right. Oh, for a second I thought Kaisuke was going to go with some. No, hmm, maybe. I don't know about that. I don't know. I mean, you know. If you've got another character, give it a go. Yeah, and you really know, tricky, take your swing. It's a really tricky matchup, so you're you're in winner's you, side. Yeah, throw go the aggression. It. Now that's an outfit. I love that one. Yeah, that that looks like some. Uh, that looks like it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, looks like it's from like a fate uh, gacha or something. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean. All right, let's go. In a way, the Hawk matchup versus Faust, I could see like the Hawk matchup versus Justice, and then a, a character that wants to establish space might give you a chance to charge up and then you that makes your whatever hits you can get more impactful with great great oh. use of the scalpel Doesn't pull but also a smart burst at the right time to be able to get out of there oh you're totally right phoebe that's the magneto color that's what that's what we got here <laughs> all right mini faust on the floor crawling through here yep. has to get up and over it, it. Mm, hey, you're... great positioning around the mini faust and yo maybe this is the pick this is working out really well Nice dodge on the dead angle, too. Catches a throw. Gun blaze blocked, and the RC, oh. but not enough. Still get RC any gets stuffed. Really? Air that hit cross up? I am shot. This... Oh, those meteors are going to be a real problem. Coming down. Yeah. Mm, it's been so hard. God, that, that's just the Faust special, right? You, you get someone so scared of blocking the meteors and getting ready for it and trying to find a way to avoid them, that then Faust can just run up and get a free mix because your mental stack is so tilted. Ah. Yeah, absolutely. And, then, you know, you want to block them in the air so you don't have to worry about a high-low on the ground, but then you got to worry about grounded normal the uh, FD in the air. Great wow. hack and slash and a combo afterwards. That hack and slash coming out there in the middle of that scramble, because that wasn't, like, run-up hack and slash or anything like that. That was just raw, like, as they were coming out of the scramble situation, the hack and slash came out. That was really cool. Yeah, nice tech air to air off the pogo, but can mm. hit by 6-H. This is gonna suck. Yo, Ooh, get jumper by a flower? Love that on the floor, protect the floor approach there. Here comes the bomb, hack and slash, yep. while they're waiting for the bomb explosion. Yeah. So heads up and so quick from Elven Shadow. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, I didn't go uh, Kaisuke, Kaisuke X way. But you know, 
But that that order soul yeah. switch seemed to be doing some stuff. Like I I would love to see more of Kaisuke's order soul. That was that pressure yeah. was impressive. Like that aggression was fun to watch. That was a really really well played uh, session there from from Kaisuke. Didn't work yeah. out like you didn't, didn't work out. But as you said, very impressive gameplay. Yeah, Elvin's experience with those Elvin's experience with those items is just so brutal. Like you see, ah, burst bait. Okay, it was yeah. a burst bait as confirmed. All from right, Elvin. Now we get yeah. Elven Shadow versus Nuclear Cheese. That'll be a wild match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At some point. Yeah, yeah. Please, when, yeah. when we get to it, of course. Cannot wait for that. But yeah. Exciting matches. All right, we got uh -huh. Gorgovich going up against Cyan Plaza. Uh, Gorgovich, uh, one of our Boston locals, I believe. Indeed. A Testament player. <laughs> so, Ooh. Yes. Testament. Commentates our exert, yeah, commentates our exert tournaments. A fantastic gent. Yo, Dink, and... I see you in the chat, but what about some love for the queens out there, too? Hmm? Nope. Kings, queens, monarchs, legends, all of you. All right, Cyan Plaza coming back up with that spicy uh, Faust that we saw a little bit earlier. Yo, is this the Faust tournament today? This is the Faust tournament today. Elvin just brings Faust in right? their orbit when they show up. Right, just have like a, a, a wake of other Fausts coming up behind him. I mean, I love watching the character. I mean, like, I honestly, you know, moving from Exert to Plus R, I was not able mm -hmm. to switch over and learn the Faust in this game from the Faust in that one, but I still love the hell out of this character. <laughs> so any chance I get to watch Faust play, gameplay, I'm very happy for. And, you know, we've been chatting it already, but in some we just had it the link dropped in chat please consider hitting up the match arena there are free codes you can use you can just sign in with an existing account from something else so please please hit that up if you haven't there are other uh, donation quests you can do or you can just use the free codes that are in the link and help contribute to the prize pool so that our players have something uh, a little scratch to fight for and plus it's always nice to see that people are invested and interested in seeing how these things go so please hit it up oh yeah Yo, yeah, what, $61? There, I would, yeah, if you guys can get us to 69 damage by the end of the tournament, I will be very happy. 69 damage? Dollars. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. Now, yeah. All right, here we go. Damage to the capitalist hegemony. <laughs> Let's go. This, this is Swell on stream asking for a 69. Please, can we get there? All right. Let's go. Here we go. Testament versus Faust. Right. Which is Testament is definitely on a good level. Like, you see, you know, he's got the net set up. Goes for so the round start warrant, a testament classic. You know, I think that's not a bad call there, because if you if Gorgovich happened to watch the stream a little bit earlier and saw how Cyan's play is, I would believe it says that Cyan tends to be a little aggressive with gameplay. So it's not a bad call there to try to go for that call out round one just to see that just to put just to put the thought in Cyan's head even that this could happen. Absolutely. You know, Testament is such a difficult character to fight when you're a character who's light on Ooh, the because those EXE beasts can just sort of be there waiting for you when you're waking up. Mm -hmm. Nice to avoid on the pogo. And it's in there with the power slide. It. Getting up and above the EXE beasts, we got the curse placed here. Crow? Really? He gets away from being hit by the uh, crow. Alright. That's it crazy. the crow, get the combo, and warrant, but avoid the great use of the scalpel or the scalpel drop to maintain Going pressure. my way. Making this thing happen here. Cyan Plaza takes game one. Nice. Cyan Plaza is doing some gameplay here. Nice. Right. Get the curse. Great round star from Gorgamus here. I feel That's like this actually... Tag. I wonder if this is actually difficult for Testament to deal with until neutral has been won, just by virtue of the fact that Faust can cover the screen with so many hitboxes and Faust's limbs are pretty long, so it can clear out a lot of the nets. So until neutral and Oki have been established, maybe Testament has to play on the back foot in this matchup. Wow! Yeah, it could well be, like, you know, it's hard to set up nets and trees when there's all these giant hitboxes being thrown out. Faust gets hit by their own bomb. Almost stunned here from Gorgovich. Okay, but any hit will do it. Ooh, nice EXE Beast in the combo afterwards. Oh no, burst available for Cyan as well. This is what Gorgovich needs right now. Oh. JD, Badlands gets the burst. You know. Oh, Ooh. Nightmare Circular whips. Takes the swing. Nice air to air. Oh, so many little spare button. hits by Gorgovich, but can't quite get the job done. So, nice start by Cyan Plaza. Ooh, a note from the chat. Faust can crawl under nets and also clear them out with 2k. That's Those are both huge, cool details of this matchup. That's incredible. That, Kraus, that Faust can just crawl underneath them. That's absurd. 2k wow. can do everything. I mean, it's great. Right? Heck of a move. <laughs> that move's good. I hate that, I hate that button so much. <laughs> I love it, but, you know, that's beautiful. Hey, All right, we let's see. All right, let's get into it. 
Hunt went back to that round start that worked last time and gets the first already. Oh, tries Ooh, to avoid the bomb, bomb, but he air dashes right into it. Alright. All right. Good blocks. It's oh, the it's like the drill cancel, but then gets the hit anyway. Off screen That's bomb. Pop. I thought that was a bomb too. Maybe it was a hammer that went off screen. Yeah. Not totally sure. There's That's a bomb out of here. What? Oh no! Oh no! And the six eight tags out of the back dash. Cyan Plaza the guys with a five k. Yeah, good commanding round by Cyan Plaza there. Gorgovich just slightly in the wrong part of town over and over again there. Right? Ooh, counter hits with the air to air and the net's right there, but doesn't net down the floor. Catch. Ooh, getting caught with a juggle here into the knockdown once again. Nice attack and flash. Runs back up, keep going. Nice okay. hit for Warren. Poison. poison is on. Maybe this is the momentum swing that Gorgovich needs here. Oh no, it's good by the love. Oh, the 6H is just not timed right. Got it. And then the recovery from 6H was so low to the ground that Gorgovich is normal. Whiffed afterwards and wasn't able to score the punish. Falling JD hit. Nice combo afterwards. Back by the other hand. Blocks the first break door. Has the corner now, so this is actually not a bad situation for Gorgovich. They just need to make this make this happen. There's the curse. No burst yet. Probably going to get burst before the round's over, though, for, for Cyan to pause it here. So Gorgovich has to Oh, oh no, but scooped! Wow. Mistimed overhead and gets scooped for it. Cyan Plaza takes it over Gorgovich 2 0. And the net explodes over Faust's head at the end. Brutal. Dang. Gorgovich is definitely making stuff happen there, but just one mistimed attack gives the window to be thrown and finish that one off. Mm hmm. Cyan Plaza showing up, playing pretty strong. Yeah, I wow, love this. Like, this is outstanding. Alright, so it uh, looks like Cyan Plaza advances, so they will fight the winner of Tails versus FGC Stone. Let me see if I can peep our stream queue, see what we got coming up next. I'm not gonna lie, I hope it's... That is that. Absolutely. Ooh. Johnny versus Anji. Alright, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm certain, you know, Tails again. I've said, I call Tails a student of the game all the time because, you know, mm -hmm. you can always count on Tails to be in chat telling us the things we need to know. So. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, Anji Mito's Pumpkin Hill theme. Okay. Yeah, so the Anji Mito's Pumpkin Hill theme. Uh, turns out that Knuckles' new voice actor is also uh, from, ta from Sonic of course, as if there's some other Knuckles I might be referring to in the video game scene, uh, is also the voice actor for Anji. Oh, I was hoping that, um, Anji was voted voiced by 100%, the noted rapper who made you the Pumpkin Hill theme. Alright, so we got FGC Stone going up against Tails here. I don't think I've ever seen Johnny versus Anji. I have not either, but I mean, we know the, we know the principles of everything. We've got the big, big buttons that Johnny brings to the table versus the brutal, like, Fujin through everything that Anji has to offer. All right, let's get into it here. Wow, just stuffed with a round star button here. Scores a knockdown into a, some corner carry. Ooh, nice. Ooh the own extension able Back to get to the, the other corner. corner. He gets the corner, but then goes for the side swap extension. Currently working on a perfect here is Tails. And another hit. This is gonna take the on and enough meter to use super. This should no. It... Ooh, gets clipped there. Oh, on's the grab. I said only about the overhead. Damn, I suck. That's Rin, I believe. Uh, that, that is Rin, you're totally correct. Alright, down to like Ooh. pixel health here Watch for FPC yeah. Stone. Doesn't have much meter here either, this is so much work. Level 3 Mistfinder though, if you're gonna make oh. a comeback, that's a great way to do it. But... Ah, that JK from Anji seals the deal. Alright, but, you know, Stone showed some signs of life there at the end. Auto guard normal, but not a huge amount afterwards. Alright. Good blocks. Checks with the low afterwards, gets nice. the dash up throw. Not much after it but a coin, but you know, levels up are always good. Yeah, this might be one of those things where you really just gotta be uh, con considerate about taking where you can what you can, and then just look for that big, big momentum sequence to make it happen. Not totally you know. sure how this matchup plays out, but that seemed like how the last round went. Ooh, yeah. it's the FRC in there, but still able to get punished afterwards. A lot of meter on hand, though. Oh, no under, way! Oh, profiles, but what's my name? And buttons out of the butterfly. Nice throw, this is an opportunity for stone here. Yeah, no burst for Tails here, so if FGC Stone can turn this into some... Or if Stone can turn this into some pressure... Oh no, the overhead catch is pushing the corner, that's gonna close yeah. it out. Wow. Alright, great control by Tails there at the end. But yeah, Stone definitely, you know, signs of life. Got, the, got some big hits here and there, especially with the throw game, but... 
Tails mm -hmm. checking the approach at just the right time to put a stop to the momentum. All right. Ooh, gonna see potential character change. <laughs> mm. So Venom, All right. I've fought this matchup with Tails a lot. So I'm obviously Tails has had experience playing Venom before me, but that's I've been playing Tails this matchup with Tails a lot. And Venom is a little bit difficult with Anji because Anji can just fujin through a lot of Venom's offense on the ground. So like you have to angle it very specifically to try to call out stuff. All right. And then since uh, Venom doesn't really have any good reversal as well, you got to hold all that pressure. Uh, I'm, I feel so bad here. Stone, I sabotaged you. <laughs> oh, nice! Catches! Never mind! Uh, win it for me. Yeah. I'm going to take this win vicariously. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I mean, like, you know, Tails is and on GS characters. Air-to-air -air and anti-air game is so powerful, but being able to mess with your air trajectory the way Venom can is definitely helpful. Ooh, tries mm -hmm. to dead angle after the butterfly, but it does not hit, and that hurts. Gets scooped oh. with the air on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, not just the combo extension. It is also just an anti-air grab. <laughs> also, didn't need the himbo hurricane there, but Tails throws it on for funsies, because why not? It hits a lot of times, and it'll finish through guts. Ooh, oh, Rin came through. Up. Oh, boy. All right, All right Kevin got go. a little choppy here. Hopefully this stabilizes. All right. Playing through. Okay. Taxi with the sweep here. There's the JK nice. setup after that. Nice. Going to an extension here. Gets the 5H into the dubious curve. Out of the ball. It's still there. Nice. Uh, through the ball. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about there. In? Yeah, which just can ignore a lot of Venom setups. Extremely frustrating to deal with. Tries, Tries to jump, jump out. I like the gold burst on the overhead there because it wasn't a true meaty situation there, so I was able to get the wow. gold burst rather than regular burst. Oh, the I see hit just as the involved Fujin runs out, but gets hit by the next Fujin and carries the corner. So much Stone meter. has a ton of meter. Spaced out just far enough from the dead angle. Venom has a really good dead angle, but it's one weakness kind of stubby. Here comes Dark Angel. It's up and over it. I think that was just to force the jump to then try to take the exchange in the air. Just about out of health here. Not much meter left. Ah, it gets clipped. Dang. But yeah, the, hey, the Venom Venom swap definitely paid a little bit of dividends, and I, we got to see some really cool setups. Six yeah, plays, like, but not quite enough. I liked it a lot. Stone is sent to the lower half of the bracket, still alive, but sent to the bottom half. And let's see if we have anything coming up in our Q matches next. Uh, nothing called just yet. Tails will be advancing on, and we'll have Tails versus Cyan, which is actually a small uh, exhibition that I got coming up uh, next week for something else, so that's kind of cool to see. Uh, yep. This will give both the players a little bit of a preview. Great. This will be starting our top eight matches. So that's Cyan Plaza in top eight here uh, with Elven Shadow and Nuclear Cheese and Tails. Not a bad, not a bad look from the winner's side. And then the loser side of the top eight will still be uh, getting sorted out here. Yeah. Still gonna fill that in. We got some matchups that are, we're waiting on a little bit. I believe Jace is in another tournament right now, so you know we're trying to as you do. All right. Okay, you know. so, so we may be able to get one of our winner side matches here coming up very shortly for y'all. Nice. And if you if That's you have the haven't. <laughs> And uh, thank you, Tails, for the shout-out. Uh, we've played that one a lot. I'm glad to see some of it paid off. Uh, and if you haven't already, do consider hitting up the Maturino. Uh, I'm going to drop that link in chat once more for y'all. It is free. Takes barely any time. I don't know why that didn't... There it is. There's the Streamlabs link. Please hit up the Maturino. Takes barely any time. Helps contribute to the prize pool. We are at... We cleared... Yo! We got to $75? Hell yeah! Yay! Thanks, this, everybody. This is... This is... This is for a weekly. I, I don't. If we get over a hundred, I don't know what I'll do. But that'll be pretty cool. I would say that I'd, I have. I don't know what to offer here, folks. But that's awesome. For our first tournament where we throw this matcherino up, I'm really happy that you guys are all contributing like that. Thank you all so much so far. Absolutely, very heartfelt. Thank you. As, as silly as I'm being here on stream talking about numbers and other stuff, it's really great to see that people uh, like like and want to see good tournaments and want to make our players feel that as well. That's really cool. Speaking and of good tournaments, I want to see this match so bad. Let's go. <laughs> Nuclear Cheese versus Elven Shadow. Let's do it. Like the Lord of Space Control versus the <laughs> one of the some of the m most awesome aggression you're gonna you're gonna see. Mm hmm. All, All right. right. Let's get into it here. So we got Elven Shadow going up against Nuclear Cheese. I don't know if I've seen these two play in tournament before, but I'm eager to see I how it pans not. out here. 
Oh, it gets 6 H and the bomb there. Oh, volcanic vibers up and over the bomb. Yeah, Neither the bomb. It up. Yeah, and you got to and you got to assume that nuclear cheese knew that as well, since nuclear cheese has played this matchup or has played so much gear over the years. Absolutely. That's so sick. Oh, Ooh, the bandit bringer gets clipped by the hammer. Yeah, this getting a lot of items that have active hitboxes. So good for Elvin there. Mm hmm. And oh, another, another one. hammer catches the burst. That's a stun yeah, too. Great burst punish. Huh. Damn, Elven Shadow with a statement victory in round Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Huh. I learned something today. Nice. Ooh. Round Star <laughs> Bandit gets blocked, but no big punish. Mini Robokai coming down, another 6-8 hit. Mini Robokai uh, oh. taking the taking the drive. Ooh, clipped by the bomb after the landing. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, Volcanic Viper hits, but Elven will take that every day of the week to, you know, mm -hmm. get all that damage. Almost Stand a stun, up. but doesn't even matter because had barely a pixel left of health. And Elven Shadow takes game one in a very decisive and very quick fashion. Yeah, great, great stuff all around. You know, had had the the blocks and the punishes on all that stuff Nuclear Cheese offered. So you know, mm -hmm. see what we got here. All right, also, fairly good items, but you know, Elven Shadow does not need items luck to perform. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, and it's one of those things too where when you are fighting a Faust. Someone, I'll, like, some, I'll talk about it later. We'll stay in the action right Let's now. Let's see what we this got. Is, yeah, this is fast and furious here. Let's get into it's it. It's the air to air. Ooh, I don't think that, yeah. that Grand Viper going that way was intentional. Yeah. So much mileage out of the 6th age, too. Elven Chatter just getting, nailing mm -hmm. it. Ooh, Mini Robokai. Mini Robokai Mini Robo Robo again. Kai? Yo, two Robokais, let's go. Good blocks. I have to avoid the poison, does so. Mm-hmm. Oh, the air is right to the mini Faust, though. Yo, damn! Is Faust working for Sanrio? There are so many chibi versions out there right now. Oh, and gets caught by the pan. Ooh. Great blocks on the force break, Pogo, but that pan there. Ooh, gets the gun flame. Nice, good trade. Let's see if a um, nuclear cheese can can Takes turn the corner. this into offense. Oh, but great anti air with the day, fighting his way out. Oh, here come meteors. Might try to get to the other side of it, might just have to hold this. Oh, burst through the hack and slash. No, as well not as a meteors. bad use of the burst, just to completely evade that situation. Mid up with the Pogo follow up. Mm -hmm. When you are your own worst enemy. However, though, Elven Shadow still making it work. Just stands there and tries to stuff with the far S. Meteors are on deck here, and a bunch of other items coming out as well. Has to block, so has to give up the Oki pressure for it, then catches yeah. with the falling D. You know, when there's two different sets of meteors coming in, you just gotta be like, well, I gotta. I guess I gotta block. Well, that's uh, Elven Shadow. Nuclear Cheese sent to the lower half of the bracket there, but big ups to El uh, Nuclear Cheese for trying to make something happen, but Elven Shadow's a tall order. Also, our prize pool just jumped to $150? What? Holy smokes. Excuse me. Well, thank you. I have that somebody was. that I have to shout out. Thank you so much to Dastarin. I probably butchered the heck out of that. Dastarin. Okay, for thank you so much. Big donation to our match arena. Thank you. Yo, Dastarin. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Uh... Very kind and generous of you. All right. Well, next up we got Tails versus Cyan Plaza. I'll keep it up here. Incredible. I feel so humbled right now. Just get to keep calling more Faust matches. This is great. I love doing <laughs> this. <laughs> All right. So we got Tails versus Cyan Plaza. Uh, it, so yeah, we uh, recently ran a league on a mutual server that I'm on with uh, Tails and Cyan Plaza, and. Uh, after the league, uh, I gave the players uh, hidden bosses, essentially, to fight. Uh, and Tails is one of the hidden bosses of the server. And Cyan Plaza and Tails are going to be in the exhibition matches that we're doing later. So this is a little bit of a pre preview for that. So I'm very excited. Well, we got the lore. <laughs> yeah, right? All right. Oh, boy, I'm excited. Yeah, this is... I'm I'm, I'm very excited because both of these people be beat me regularly. So now I get to watch the two people that beat me up beat up each other. So I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Ooh, Cyan no. Plaza here. I feel like this is an interesting thing here because Cyan Plaza is a little bit of a wild player, and Anji or and Tails, I feel, is a pretty not wild, a uh, very deliberate player. Has some wild options sometimes, but Ooh, isn't that's doing them. Bad. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. If going my way doesn't take you to the ground, it is very, very unsafe. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Yo, you know what's up, Skeleton? I'm, I'm very, I'm. Yeah, I got something going on in the service, Skeleton. You know what's up? All right, guys, oh, with the overhead there. Oh, burst through the Pogo extension. I love it. Yeah. Goes for the overhead. God, the overhead gets caught by the, by the escape flow. <laughs> what a silly interaction. Nice use of the auto guard force break. What do you got? Faust oh, so it on wake up. Oh, but gets caught for the 2K. Woo. 
All right. Players not I, even giving me time to break down this matchup. Dang. What a weird interaction with that uh, TK with the TK orb into the Faust super. That's so weird. I'm still reeling over that. Good to know right. that Kanji basically can is vulnerable on landing after that overhead. Mm -hmm. Oh, catches with the burst there. Good stuff. Now you see with 5k, not a huge follow-up, and Fujin taking mostly back to the corner. Oh, that 5p doing so much work to stuff Aaron Fujin sometimes. Oh, I was... There. Up and over with the stomp. There's so many character-specific corner combos that Anji can do there, and Tail right. seems to know them all. Great use of the round card stomp. That's Ooh, go. again! Alright. Cyan catches with the 2k, able to turn it into a little bit of an airstream here, scores a knockdown. Just gets out of it though. Tail saying no, no thanks. Absolutely not interested in dealing with it. I'd rather not. Oh, tries to get the on out of the air. Fujin through the 6 8, that's a great response. Yeah, Rin gets blocked there, so not a terrible situation for either player afterwards. Uses the burst to get out of the pressure here. Oh, super jumps up, tries to catch any sort of jump back with the JD, didn't work, but then able to turn it into a low extension afterwards from the Fujin ground screen. Blocks the butterfly, dead angle off. Another Ooh. Fujin to 6H. Tails is just ready, and the on might just kill on its own. There you go. Yo, let's go! What a game! One cool component of this matchup, well, I mean, cool from Tails' perspective, I imagine, is that <laughs> Anji's jump and super jump is just has so much speed that trying to do things like, you know, set up items, set up scalpel, pull full screen, you're going to have an Anji jump in your face if you try to do that too much, and mm -hmm. <laughs> that's brutal to deal with. Right? What if we gave the character with a horizontal DP also one of the best super jump arcs in the game? Hmm? Yeah, crazy super jump arc, really good air, air to air buttons, just... With an air break too! That JD yeah. is an air break? Come on! Absolutely, like, both of these characters are real tough to be air to air against, but... Hey, here they are fighting for our enjoyment. Let's just enjoy the spectacle. Yeah. Bursts out of there, catches with a 5k, able to turn it into an air string. Doesn't score a knockdown out of it though. Hit into the, into the mini Faust, bombs on the floor. Tails backing off. <laughs> oh, Cyan Plaza not quite backing off far enough, and now you know, gives Tails an opportunity to get the aggression going. Sometimes you get a little lost in your own sauce, and that's just how it happens. Ooh, catch it with the dust! Snagged with the 5d and the big damage afterwards. Yo, There's three bombs, bombs just there, at least. Oh, oh my god! Cyan Plaza, their own worst enemy! Taking so many of their own bombs. All right, we got the corner pressure here from Tails. This is really oh wow, the overhead chop over the low extension. That was so sick. That was so heads up from uh, Cyan. Uses the 2K to stuff the Rin yeah. extension as well. Yeah, the armor of Rin I believe does not last through its entirety, so mm -hmm. that 2K is a great option to deal with it. These two players seem to be responding beautifully to each other. Is good option. Fujin through six eight, fine. All 2K through your Rin. Yeah, no, a Cyan is very much a player who uh, does the work for stuff and, and th considers how to plan for a matchup that they know they might have to fight, so this is really cool to see play out. Burst out of it, okay. Bit of a life lead here on Tails, gets up and away from the Force Break door. Ooh, Fujin, ah, there it is, Stuff, stuffs the Rin extension once more. Ooh, caught by the flower. Going my way to other corner. One more strong sequence here. I'd say very strong guts from Anji, so this might be a little bit harder for Cyan Plaza to close out than it might typically be against other characters. However, Tails is at such low health now, might not matter. Carrying to the corner, oh, it has to get this kill right now before a burst comes out. Oh, nice bait on the dead angle, but caught 2k. Oh, it goes Fujin. to the 6 days to try and finish things, but the Fujin re response is on deck. Fujin through the overhead. Here's the scary thing too, that might have been a reaction from Tails and not just mashing that on Wake Up. Tails is really quick with that stuff. Absolutely. And it seems Ooh. to be scouting that 2k every time. Mm -hmm. Good 2k to catch the hop through. Oh, okay, the ring doesn't sure. get called out that time. Back to Wake goes for the Phantos. Yeah. In. Big damage here. Ooh. Ooh, they flip by the overhead. Gets their own, gets the corner back. Door. Now, this looks like the life discrepancy isn't that big, but there's actually a very large life discrepancy since Anji's guts is so high here. So this is this is fairly entails and Red butterflies out, okay. Stays up and above the red butterfly, so doesn't have to deal with the projectile afterwards. Gets counter hit 2k and a cool drop pogo follow-up, but... Yeah, the drop pogo with the swing to the other side <laughs> for the hit. I love it. Catch it with the nice. flowers. Gets so this... much mileage out of that pogo drop horse break. Rin through the bomb! Gets up and over this, the, 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 the reel him in and is able to close out the round. Tails there you takes go. it. The, right on that one interaction that I was talking about, that super jump arc is so perfect for calling mm -hmm. out that scalpel fall. And there it was right there. Wow. Both of those players back and forth. 
whatever that exhibition that you got looking at me going forward for them to play each other more, that'll be sick. Well, I'll, I'll give it a sh- I'll give it a shout out to the to the Boston Bluebeat server and uh, let folks know, and I'll tweet it out on my own Twitter account as well. Because yeah, it should be a should be a good time. We got two other strong players as well uh, going on in that uh, with. Uh, an entire skeleton who's in the chat right now plays a very strong soul and then another player named uh, Haley, who's a pretty strong uh, Melty blood player, but also is uh, no slouch in guilty gear as well Excellent. All right, so we got tails versus elven shadow for us for our uh, ooh, Winners finals. Oh, yeah That's gonna be sick All, All right, right. So we've got some Yeah, we got some loser stuff to work through um, All right, so we got, we got... So Fellow has been advancing through. Uh, Lem and Jace, looks like that needs to happen. I don't know if that's going to happen on stream or when that will occur, but that's another one of them. Okay. And if you haven't already, I know we already had a big old boost to the match arena, but if you feel like contributing a little bit more, hit up those codes. Uh, currently, we're sitting at 150. Could go a little bit higher. This is still very humbling to all of us here working <laughs> working this right now, but... Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I wasn't certain how this was all going to go. This is the first tournament we've run after we've gotten this little Matrino partnership sorted out. Shout out to Tidal, by the way, for making that happen. Uh, <laughs> and, shout out to, and shout out to Dastrin as well for yeah. the uh, big spear bomb. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to every one of our donors. You guys are all fantastic. Everybody's hitting up the codes, hitting up the quests, doing all your business. So Bit by bit, we're getting stuff done. Mm-hmm. And what we might have here, I don't know if this will be our losers, uh, Losers finals, but possibly we have Cyan Plaza versus Nuclear Cheese coming. Or not, not Losers finals, Loser, Loser semis. We possibly have Cyan versus Nuclear Cheese and Losers semis. We'll have to see if the other folks that are still in the lower half of the bracket can make something happen because a lot of other strong players there. But interesting. Just I will. I'm very curious to see how it turns out. So we've got. We've got Gorgovich being called into our lobby to play the winner of a match that was, I believe, currently ongoing between Stone and Noise Tank. Noise Tank. Oh, I know I've seen them play before. I do not recall who they play. Gorgovich, uh, we saw earlier, had the Testament. Gorgovich uh, looks like went through or fought Wheel in the lower half of the bracket and went over Wheel, and Gorgovich was on Testament. Ah, yes, Noise Tank is a Kai player. That's who they are. Indeed. So right now we got Stone, we got Johnny versus Kai going on off stream there. Yeah. And possibly playing Kai up against Gorgovich, but we'll see. Stone, no slouch as we saw. Yeah, Noise Tank is a fun player to watch, too. Mm hmm, mm hmm. believe Cyan- I played against him last week. I don't recall. So Cyan Plaza and Nuclear Cheese got a little bit of a rest period right now. Yo, Dastarin, I see you in chat. Thank you so much. That is super yeah. appreciated. Thank you so much. Hope, hopefully this is some exciting and active gear for you. Indeed. Thank you to Boston Bluebeat folks for uh, letting me on the mic here. Y'all were have uh, welcomed me with open arms and allowed me to do some commentary here. It's adding to my to my gear database. It is a pleasure to have you every time you're able to stop by. Aw, thank you. You guys are a delight to be with. I like being here with y'all. So, have some exciting... Yeah. I want to get more matches on stream now. I'm so yeah, hyped. we got this weird like we're in this weird <laughs> holding pattern where like you know a couple of players are playing in other tournaments. We got a match mm-hmm. ongoing that we're waiting on the winner on. It's like you know you know that feeling when you're in the bracket and you're just like all right I know I'm playing the winner of this. So you're like waiting for it to happen and just doing a little bit. But now we're yeah, all right? doing that together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. Like, and we don't have like uh, ad reels for chairs that we can run right now. So we just gotta fill uh-huh. time. <laughs> uh... Oh. oh. I mean, we don't have to run ads. I can keep filling time. It's fine. I can talk about, uh... Okay. It's like we got... We're going to talk about our Macharino stuff here a little bit. Uh, do you want to cover that, JMD, or want me to cover that? Sure, I can I can jump in for a little bit. Hi, folks. Yeah, this is the uh, first one of our weeklies that we've done uh, with the Macharino. It's really cool. I would like to give a huge shout-out to, as Craig said earlier, Teto, um, putting tons of the behind the scenes work on on all this um and i truly appreciate that um it's really you know every time we've done a match arena so far for guilty gear we've had a you know huge turnout we had over you know a thousand for our our yearly event now we've got 150 for a weekly so that's uh that's the kind of enthusiasm that i i really appreciate and i really um it's really cool to see that coming from the community 
Um, Matrina's kind of cool. If y'all haven't used it before, you can just literally uh, retweet these accounts. It'll give you kind of like a random tweet or something. Um, you go through, do that. A couple of them are just follow. Uh, you should definitely follow our friends, uh, Casa Bunch. Uh, they run a bracket tomorrow night uh, as well. Um, no, uh, Dink in the chat does a lot of uh, work for them, uh, like an absolute legend. Yeah, just um, killing it out there. Yeah, no, it, but we, we truly, truly appreciate it. Um, we've got some in the, over here on the bracket, so we're going to have Elven and Tails in winners. And doing a quick look over here and doing a quick peek -see in the results. Like we're going to have... Yeah, it looks like it is going to be Noise Tank versus Gorgovich. Let me make that... Make that edit. Hell live yeah. Live on stream. Yo. Pow. Pow. Doing it on stream. Let folks see how it happens. See, it doesn't take too much to run your own tournament. Well, no, it does, because it takes a lot of effort and time and diligence and making sure you run it right. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why I popped off there. I could have been quiet there and just Absolutely. let you have the moment. Absolutely. You had a nice moment. You Absolutely. had a nice moment. I messed Real. it up. Just, yeah, this isn't hard at all. And I'm like, I have so many other... I'm sharing one window right now. I have... Many others. Right, <laughs> I know. I, my I life is up. suffering. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, hold up. You, you, you cut that out. All right. But we're back no, now. No, I just. I can. I was I just can. trying to encourage people. I, I was know, just trying I to encourage I'm, people. I'm just, I'm oh, just yeah. razzing you because it's the only way I know how to operate. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back off the mic. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to run ads for the next time we do one of these. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you do some. Yeah. You get the tech going. We'll get noise tank in here as if on cue. Let's do it. Here comes Noise Tank versus Gorgovich. We got, uh, thank you, JMD, for those announcements. And uh, you go rest your voice. We'll take things from here. Uh, Noise Tank, we're going to be probably rolling with that Kai. Gorgovich rolling with Testament here. Let's do it. This might be a bit of a struggle bus here. I mean, I imagine that, I mean, with certain net placements, the stun edges can be used to get rid of them. But otherwise, it's going to be really tricky to navigate. Yeah, I imagine that jump stun edge probably does a good job of clearing through stuff. Yeah, at least that, like, you know, the, the big important part of the screen that you want to advance through, at the very least, you can clear out, so that's good. All right. All right. Yo, the Kai is the matching history. Right? Kai is the same color as Testament's hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Warren, huh? Got nothing doing. Yo, again, that was the same round start. That was game one choice last time that we saw Gorgovich on stream as well. I mean, if you have a counter that beats everything, do it. All right, nice use of the crossover greed sever, or spring greed sever. You don't see that too often. I don't know about this Cheeto-colored EXE beast. That's that's yeah. that's rubbing me the wrong way. All right, ooh, gets the power slide in, catches with a skull, and gets hurt. This is gonna be with no burst on Kai's side. It's gonna be really really scary. Yeah, there's a lot of damage potential in this. Ooh, ooh gets hit, gets fight out. That hit right. meant so much in this match there. Absolutely. Ooh, and just getting some stray air hits and with how both has some health is that is. Definitely enough. Wow, there you go. Alright, that's round one going to Noise Tank. Alright. Gorgovich backing away from the Greed Sever. <laughs> okay, 99 seconds more. The one time you don't round start Warren. Go. Alright, he's getting away from Kai here, giving, giving a little bit of space up. I'm not sure how Testament wants to necessarily approach this. Gets the net placement in the sky. Ah, uh, wants to get the net placement up and above the angle of the stun edges. Okay. He gets caught by the tree and a nice little conversion off of my Gorgovich. We got Chester Cheetah out here for these setups. Let's go. Stealing that one from Baby the Cat. My bad. Blocks the Florida Spray Greed Cover. I would have got hit. Yeah, but great neutral jump to beat that power slide. Oh, gets caught with the back dash on the on the stun edge. Got the over the air. Oh, didn't have the heads up awareness for it, or maybe thought that they might get away, might be able to get away with the angle of it. Nice Greed Cover and the follow up. One more sequence what? here to, to do it from Noise Tank if they can get in. Oh, barely has enough, barely has some health left here. Does Noise Tank gold what? burst into the seal? Burst into the seal. That was super cool. I think right. like two more hits might have been able to kill. Talk just since burst scale combo so oh, much. Tries to den angle. It's blocked now. Like no meter. Just, you can't oh. even really block something right now. Goes and for the really go. goes for the really gutsy gold burst and no luck. Oof. Interesting stuff. Um, hmm. Sorry for the voices there in the background. Have a have a dog getting into some stuff they shouldn't be. Should be clear dogs. now. Though. Adventurous dogs aside, we got game one going to noise tanks. Good. Yeah, game Good one to noise tanks. Gorgovich might have to make some sort of adjustment. I got my yeah. own. E I got my own exe beast here in the household making some trouble. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I mean, obviously. If
Testament can establish the control that Testament is known for, then it's super mm -hmm. brutal to deal with. But Noise Tank not allowing that to happen so far. And a color What's change. A oh. Yeah. A color change from both sides. Oh, we got the Order Soul color yeah, on Kai. Yeah, Order Soul Kai. They pre-ordered Strive, so they got the full color. Yo, I'm pretty sure I've had my hair in the color of this Testament palette before. Alright, good. A couple <laughs> straight hits. Nice throw by Noise Tank. Takes the corner. Good blocks. Oh, the counter hit for the stagger here. Not oh, goes for the six P. Doesn't go for any sort of exe beast. May not, maybe they didn't have the quite range for it or the space for it. Our stats hide, which will work in Testament's favor here. All right, we're getting over there. This is looking much more in control of Gorgovich here. Absolutely, like not like massive long combos, but just a few hits have added up. Yeah. Around. And the control is being established here. And the curse too. Wow, with how low your life is, this is going to be Ooh. very difficult. Wow, sitting on like a pixel now too. So you can't really yeah. afford like even a trade situation here. Blocks yeah. the fourth break reads ever. That's the second time that Gorgovich has had the read on when that was coming out. Nice block on the taker to charge. Charge stunage pushes away from the 5D. I'm not sure if that 5D was intentional there from Noise Tank, or if that was supposed to be something else. Hard to say. Evades the Badlands because get for the follow up. Another round start Warren, but no nothing doing. Alright, push into Kai's uh, pressure zone here. Look at that wrist gauge. We already flashing. Burst out of it. Yeah, Good call. I like burst. that. That, could, that was going to get worse before it got better, for sure. Much, much, much. Hit off the XTB, and here comes the follow up. Testament class. Ooh, triple neck combo? Into yeah. a knockdown? Beautiful. The overhead. That's what I want to see out of, out of Testament. That was so sick. Triple net com combo into a knockdown into the overhead from EXE Beast. Love right, it. Throw two. Back mid three. Doesn't quite curse though. There's so much meter. You got to be on the lookout for nice. Runs into the seal. Killer. Oh, does have a nice advantage here and is up around, but you don't want to give that away. You really want to have that momentum seal. And throw it out of the throw. warrant. No, thank oh. you. So much meter here for Gorgovich on hand. <laughs> Catches. Yep. When, when Testament's got that much meter, Nightmare Circular is always a threat, and there it is. That's 1-1. One, nice one. recovery by Gorkovich. Hell Absolutely. of an adjustment. Let's go. That, like, that, whatever the whatever the mental change was there from Gorkovich, because that wasn't like a, a, a uh, fought my way tooth and nail and barely came out on top. That first round was so clean in that past game. Absolutely. All right, well, now it's Noise Tank's turn. They're trying to do a little bit of adjusting. Maybe go back to that gray, that lighter gray color? Who knows? Another, a third color. They both change colors again. Damn! How do y'all do this? I have one color I play, and I cannot play another color. <laughs> Ooh, nice little power slide gets in there. There is a net somewhere over there. There it is. Oh, this is the same uh, Cheeto uh, EXE Beast color again. Indeed. Oh, oh gets the throw. Tries to set up the seal, but gets snatched. Oh, nice hit there with Badlands. Got the Grave Digger extension. Net placement, but net gets uh, disrupted. It tagged once by the charge on it. Nice, get the you don't want to be poisoned. Poison. Poison. Oh, this is so much damage. Yeah. This oh, blowing straight through your guts, and then you get thrown. Ugh. Yeah, and the the poison's still ticking while that throws hit is on the way. That's harsh. All right, far flash is on edge. Okay, right. gets the knockdown here. Sets up the seal. Oh, catches nice. the dust after the seal. Yeah, put that seal up there to make them think about it, and then... Free little combo. Catches nice the lightning block. afterward. Nice block on across the green sever. Oh, I'm, I'm hella hit on that green sever there. Absolutely. Oh, so nice doing double duty, breaking the net and getting the hit. Love well, it. I want to see this go to last round, last game. Same, but Kai is cursed, so Gorgubit has a heck of an advantage here. Ooh, evades the XCP and gets the hit. Ooh, that might have been an the attempt. The air throw! Snatching a burst. Oh, Never boy. circular beats our greed sever. Poison's on right now. Yo, it's kind of hard to see that poison uh, on this Kai art. Kai alt. Absolutely. Ooh. Ooh, backing away here. Nice backdash from the Grave Digger. EXE Beast catches. Oh, had burst on hand there. Kai's got 75% meter, almost 100% meter now. I take it yeah. back. Ooh, man, but all it takes is stun edge. Wow. All right, last round. Let's game. L last okay. game. Let's go. Double Luigi. All right. The power slide for the round start. Gets a curse. What a start for Gorgovich. Ooh, EXE Beast got, gets yeah. up and over the EXE Beast with that low altitude air dash. I love yeah, it. Jump back and air dash forward to deal with EXE Beast and the Curse Crow overhead. It's fantastic stuff. Mm -hmm. And with, uh, with Kai in particular, the angle at which his JS swings afterwards. Oh, great. Great ever, yeah, first to not have to deal with the rest of that combo. It was going to hurt. Catches well, with the net. The oh, net. here's the triple net combo again. Oh, doesn't quite get the last right. net. Right. Right to the equitable on health. Yeah. 
pretty Dang even on a lot of re in a lot of axes here. Great throw from Gorgovich. This could be the advantage. The combo's gonna oh, with Gorgovich can make it roughly one hit territory. All right, Noise Tank's gonna have burst on deck here now, so can't quite Great make this. the corner. Be set oh. up. Tries to go first. It whips. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's the goal versus as well, and it whiffs. That's so much meter lost. Oh. All right, at least the punish is not there. Oh. And here comes. Wait a minute. Like, this might be it. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be hard to navigate. That's and it. there you go, Gorgovich. All right, looks like that was a combo stopped early by Noise Tank. I wonder if like, like thought that there might be a burst coming, but there was, it wasn't available. Yeah, burst wasn't uh, wasn't anywhere close to being ready just yet. But uh, unfortunate for Noise Tank, they are now eliminated from the bucket. And Gorgovich moves on, moves onward. Gorgovich, that testament, whatever it was, their testament woke up after that first game against Noise Tank. Yeah, I've seen like, haven't seen much of the grind that Gorgovich has been on, but playing them in tournament the last couple of weeks, they've just electric. Mm -hmm. That great Those to combos, see. Like especially the net like back dash or dash back in the air and Badlands combos. Those are mm -hmm. sick. All the exclamation points in the chat. Yeah! Give, give us all those exclamation points. I love it. Or as we were saying, uh, as we were referring to them in the IT world, calling them bangs instead. Alright, so, looks like... Okay, so I don't know when we're going to see this one, but we got Nuclear Cheese will get up against Gorgovich uh, in the lower half of the bracket. Uh, and then we'll have Undertow versus Jace as well. That may already be ha- Oh, that yeah, was that already has, happening. Looks like I'm looking forward to, to Jace, Jace versus Bello, yes. All right, Jace first fellow. Let's go. On. Oh god, this is. I'm thinking I love about this I'm... matchup. Okay, so we got I love Bridget. And hate this matchup. Bridget versus Justice. Absolutely. Let's do it. What a weird match. Yeah. This is this is a fun one. Like, I mean, the way the parts of the screen that Bridget can get to, Justice doesn't really have a way to reach with attacks, but. Mm hmm. Oh boy, but like obviously, you know, the nukes do help answer some of the Roger attacks, but not all of them. That Roger belly flop is can you know you can deal with that with oh, some yeah. of the more upward nukes, but Jagged Roger just takes up a bunch of space and is big and chunky and annoying. Yeah, and I don't believe that the Roger projectiles go away in all circumstances. Like they you don't. So like yeah. Roger will still be there. It's ah, oh, it's great. Yeah, and then of course, you know, you've got something like me and my killing machine where, um, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Me and my killing machine combined with the amount of movement options that Bridget has just to sort of jump circles around you and mix you up. Mm -hmm. just... Yeah, so I would love to see. I, I'm very excited to see this. And Jace, uh, is there... They're at least the most prominent NA Bridget player off the top of my tongue? I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate, but I know Jace yeah, has been around for... We got Mahoko as well, I would say. Mahoko is a hell of a bridge too. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay, yes. Right, Mahoko's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so... Ha! Ha ha! Ah, yes, okay, so we got uh, two pe Jason Elvin apparently might be meet meeting in another tournament going on right now. This is one of the fun things about gear, is that we can have multiple tournaments tournaments going on at once with a lot of strong players, but then we also have multiple tournaments going on at once with a lot of strong players. <laughs> Which, yeah, yeah. And for anybody who has been a TO of any sort, when you have players playing in multiple brackets, even if it's for diff different games, the scheduling and juggling people becomes uh, a little difficult sometimes. Who sent Chase to loser? Ah, oh, it was Stone. Uh, right. Nice. All right. Let's get it. All right. So Bridget, since it's the first time we saw Bridget on stream today, I'll give a give a quick breakdown. Uh, uh, Elden, uh, I'll ask JMD to call to chat with Gab. Yeah, JMD Elvin's asking stuff. I was just, I, I was just saying commentary stuff and just trying to be excited, Elvin. Don't take anything I'm saying too seriously. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, Bridget places the yo-yo, goes to where the yo-yo is, or can make the yo-yo do attacks. Uh, Justice places those nukes. We've seen Justice on stream before. All right, there's your explanation. That's yeah, Roger. Roger's the teddy bear. Roger doesn't, give, he doesn't care about you at all. Roger has zero Fs to give. Ooh, nice, nice QD though to, to stop on that pressure, but Starship. Mm -hmm. Starship's so weird to block too. The the block stun on it is is very odd. That yo-yo is locked on, and then just, just 
hole from Did the you top fast ro Roger top row of Roger. Yo, let's go. Oh, Chase deploying this yo-yo in just a perfect position to mm -hmm. get in the way of Dustin's approach, and this combo is going to hurt. Yeah, and when the lock-on symbol goes on somebody from the yo-yo, that's that whatever the Roger effect is will appear on where the, the lock is. Yeah. Oof, and all this meter, the killing machine may well be on deck. Oh, I want to see it. I want to see the killing machine. I want to see the killing machine go through so yeah, many moves. Here it comes. There, there, there it is. Wow, great block by Fellow, but can't block forever. Yeah, that's... Bridget, one of the scariest mix of characters to block, I feel. Absolutely. Especially once right. that... Oh, tries... Just, Yo, just, doesn't have, just doesn't have the mobility to get Yo, out of the Roger. Bear. <laughs> uh. oh, oh, no! Disconnection. Unfortunate. Uh, we'll oh. get this sorted out. Hopefully. Roger destroyed the lobby. Hmm. Unfortunate, but, you know, online tournaments, be what it yeah, be. Uh, we'll get this sorted out with our players here. So thankfully with gear, since uh, meter doesn't carry over between rounds, you can at least roughly approximate the score. Unfortunately, it doesn't account for burst, but it at least does... Does... Oh, Steam is doing something. It was hmm. Steam! It was Steam! It wasn't my fault. All right, apparently Steam killed it. Ah, uh, we'll get this sorted out, folks. Find out of Steam. Oh no! Oh wait, is Steam actually like down for everybody? Oh, I hope not. Oh, okay. That would be problematic. Excuse me, Gaben. Wait, what? Ooh. I hope Steam's not like down, down. Period. That would be unfortunate timing. Hmm. Well, that was a really exciting matchup until that happened. Yeah, we're gonna but, have to move to the the Switch version of Plus R. Uh -oh. oh, geez, why you gotta why you gotta say that? <laughs> uh, okay, Nate, I'll teach you the game while we're while we're killing time. Which character do you like to look of? Try to fill some time here, here with screen chat. Yeah, it's it's like improv. It's like, all right, give me a character and give me a stage. <laughs> Well, apparently the Switch version, uh, as you, you, you alluded to, uh, the Switch version is where our uh, lobby system comes from, because the PC version apparently didn't have lobbies originally. Yeah. Okay, Dizzy? All right. Uh, combo into Icicle, then place Fish and Air Dash. There's yeah. <laughs> there's your, there's your... Yeah, I'm just going to... All right, so we gotta, we're going to change this up. We're going to do, you know, Switch version, single Joy-Con only, and uh, figure it out. Yeah, right, single yeah. Jo single Joy-Con only? Brutal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Alright, so let's see. Well, Steam is hopefully going to behave itself so that we can, you know, continue our turn. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something that that's wild about uh, Dizzy's fish, Nate. Two th okay, so two things that are two of my favorite things about why Dizzy's so busted. Uh, fish will eat hits for you, including dead angles and reversals. So, you have to hit the fish before you can hit Dizzy which results in a lot of situations where Dizzy can just go in on pressure where a lot of other characters couldn't and would have to respect stuff. So that's pretty cool. Other thing, her J2S uh, is a disjointed box that hits behind her. So if you air dash over somebody while hitting the 2S, you can hit somebody. You don't even have to really auto correct. You don't have to try to correct yourself. And J2S, for some reason, is throw invincible. What? Brutal. Oh, that's wild, Firok. I didn't know that. Wait, so if the curse hits the, f the the skull hits the fish, Dizzy still gets cursed? Brutal. Unbelievable. And yes, Tails, uh, I'm 90% sure that that information is accurate. Why is Force Break Skull such a thing? <laughs> <clears throat> Richter, the OST that's been playing through all this stuff is the Korean version of the, or the Korean, what is it? Which version of it? Like, there, it's a Korean soundtrack that is uh, part, at least largely replaced in JMD's mm -hmm. version of the game. Uh, the only song mod I have done that I did just to see if I could figure out how to song mod in this game is uh, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. Just because I wanted did, to see. Because that made me laugh. Did you replace Holy Orders? Question mark? Hell no! I love Holy Orders? Question mark. Oh, that is... What? Yo, that, that, no... song, that, that song actually does kind of hurt my head. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, I love it. It, it makes yo it, 69 it, viewers shout out. 
Yo, 69 viewers. What a wonderful oh. time to have 69 viewers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for being with us, folks. Uh, Steam is having some technical issues. We are trying to get matches back up and running. We'll get the lobby back up uh, and we'll get stuff going. Uh, Flack, honestly, I don't... I think I got rid of the same character. Um, like, when you when you have the same character fighting each other, I think that's the theme I got rid of. I just you got rid one. of Mariah Carey's theme. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I like Holy Orders. I, I mean, it remi I'm kind of messed up, though. I've <laughs> maybe done too many mind-altering things to my brain, and that's why I like it. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's just... A whole bunch of hmm? Mersbow enthusiasts on this stream. Um, yeah, it is. All these noise rockers. Yeah. I'm, what can I say? I mean, it takes me back to uh, to simpler times where you know my brain was dead. Oh, weird. The friends network is unreachable. Who just thought? Yeah. Oh no. All right. So who else? Who else oh. do people want to learn? Who Who else are we trying to give a uh, thirty second uh, matchup information on? Who yeah, else people want to learn? Construction noises. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Axel. Um, the Axel is actually one of the characters I don't know how to play. Uh, I, all I know is I got blown up for like an eighty percent damage counter hit combo with Axel in a tournament, and that sucked. Yeah, um, if you want to play, if you want to play Axel, um, only play against Justice because you eat their fucking lunch. Whoa. Oh, um, Axel also uh, the Rosengen seems pretty strong to end strings on too. I think that's it. Yeah, you gotta know a bunch of different command normals if you're gonna play Axel. There's just so much, like, wild, wild different chain locations you gotta be aware no. of. Tails doesn't get to play Venom. Tails, Tails doesn't have have uh, the right brain for Venom. Venom, Venom players are uh, very aware of their budgets. Uh, we're keeping eyes on the clock to make sure we're not late to any appointments. Tails themselves would say that they don't want to play. They don't have the brains for Venom. They're wrong, I think, but they would say that. No, Anji players can't play Venom. We don't. Uh, horizontal DP is, is completely antithetical to how Venom is meant to be played. I'm sorry. You have a move that is a horizontal with a DP motion that goes horizontally. Yeah, but the, oh yeah, you, if you get hit by that just raw, you deserve it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but still. No, I'm not racist against Anji players. I just think they're very stupid. <laughs> I take yeah, it back. I don't mean it that I way. That that would be ableist against Anji players. Yeah. Mm. I, um, and I hope that you and Jace are able to play. I hope that Steam allows that to happen. Yes. But good luck to both of you. Uh, um, we're the... back! Okay, I'm, great. I'm getting quiet again. Alright, cool. Uh, re reshare the stream out to us, and then we're good to go. Yo, I have a theater degree, and I'm playing Venom. I don't know what y'all's excuses are. I have, like, the, le it's like the least brained degree. Big robot, good. Oh, actually, no, it's because of stage directions, and I understand movement and flow across stage. Okay, never mind, it makes sense. I'm very smart. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm losing you all of a sudden there. Maybe it's my own, maybe it's my own sound. We're living, what you saying? I don't know. I just love that we're all learning so much about ourselves. Ah, yes, sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. We're back in, we got the stream back up, Steam is back up. We'll get some players in here. We yeah, had noted 16-year-old Tails. All right, uh, we had Jace playing, but Jace is playing in the other tournament at the moment to try to move that along. Yeah, we're gonna run Nuclear Cheese versus Gorgovich. Cheese it's time to party. Okay. Let's go. Yo, uh, look, Alice, I see you in chat there, and I, I, Young Cliff is has has my heart, but not my hands. I'll say that. Happy 16th birthday, Tails! Alright, we got Nuclear Cheese and Gorgovich here. We're gonna get Soul versus Testament. Um, if they're both East Coast folks, I bet they probably have played each other before. Probably not entirely new to each other. Accurate? Uh, yeah, they've almost certainly played. I don't know how much they've played in plus R, but they've definitely okay. played each other a fair bit in various in various exert tournaments. And you know, she's no stranger to fighting against Testament in general. Absolutely. Alright, well, thank you so much for bearing with us, folks. We are back in the action now. Save Gabe send Gabe Newell all your complaints. For now though, round start warrant again! <laughs> that, is the, that is the third time that oh, going to be wild thrown right out of another warrant. 
keep trying with that warrant. Not getting anywhere with it yet. Right? Volcanic Vipers up and through the net. Wow, that's got a few. Over the tree, the whole thing. As somebody who likes to play uh, trap characters in other games, I, I feel very upset at seeing that Volcanic Viper just go through the net. Sidewinder. Again. Oh, another one? We have another one? Okay, just ends it with the uh, bandit Big winger. Damage. Bandit revolver, sorry. Oh, oh. Died at the beginning of the impossible dust combo, so don't get to see the whole cool thing. <laughs> oh, Stuff said that with a far S at round two. Walk ride stamp, nothing doing. Yeah. First time of the pressure, doesn't want to have to deal with it. Oh, riot stamp! Man, 5k, black beat, but it still does damage. Hmm, black beat into a knockdown, it feels bad. Absolutely. Walk Ooh, bandit bandit. Into the up in the Trying to field. get out of here, get it off the old team, but Frisk cranked, and this is gonna really, really hurt. Almost kills, not quite though. Off the grave digger, Tyrant mm. Rave. Tyrant Rave on wake up. Testament. You be blown away. Buttons, you're going to get blown up. Alright. That's game one. Let's see if Gorgovich makes an adjustment here. Absolutely. I mean, like, you know, it's hard to just set your set your traps up when you got somebody running at you at all hours of the day, but... Oh, yeah, especially if it's somebody who has a complete understanding of when and where they can blow up your nets and how to and how to get through them. Because, like, when... I don't want to say that Testament players are getting carried by, by lack of matchup knowledge, but they're not. Testament's a very strong character, obviously. But when someone knows how where their normals can interact with your net placements and delete them, it just gets so much harder to, to play against people. Add to burst there, getting counter hit out of the warrant, but then Cheese goes right back in and gets another hit. Frank Risk still cranked up. Look at all these sidewinders. Goes to the force break sidewinder in the last one. Doesn't quite work out. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Had the start of a combo. Hit. Didn't wasn't able to make it work. Nice dragon install to show off. What? All right. Oh, Warren gets stuffed there. Unfortunately. Yeah, I thought Warren did counter projectiles, but. Either I am wrong, or it is being timed just right. Gets caught with the wild throw, not able to turn it into the full combo, blocks the bandit bringer, has to backdash it. Back Does backdash out of that tyrant rave. I thought that might catch. Nuclear cheese working on a perfect here. Woo, he skulls out on the floor, right? Ryan stamp over the skull, and you're dead. That's gonna be it? That's it. Wow. That was outstanding. Just scooped up off the ground with that riot stamp to avoid the low skull. Gets a hit, and finishes it off. In incredible awareness. Nuclear cheese working on up. Alright. So we're going to have to... That was nuclear cheese versus Gorgovich here. Gorgovich, unfortunately, eliminated from the bracket. Nuclear cheese advancing onward. So nuclear cheese will face the winner of Cyan Plaza, who will face the winner of Jace and Fella when we're able to play that match out. And Jason and Elvin are playing out their match right now, so we need to hold for a moment. Are waiting for Jason Elvin Shadow to finish out their match on another stream here, and then we'll have we'll be able to get Elvin Shadow versus Tails as well as Jace versus Fellow. So we'll see how the order of which we want to do those things in. For now, though, uh, please consider hitting up that match arena if you haven't already. It's already got a little bit in the prize pool, a little bit more than we were expecting, but if you want to, always appreciate it to, if you want to contribute more. Uh, we'll figure out what that match order running is going to be. Um, my name is Swell. I'm here with... Yeah, of course. <laughs> my name is Swell, and we're here with Aggro Craig. Or I'm here with Aggro Craig. Uh, JMD is yeah. making some stuff happen behind the scenes. Yeah. Anybody else behind the scenes you want to shout out? Hello. Yeah, it was always Hello. just like the, the hand that makes some of the, so much of this stuff go. <laughs> <laughs> The invisible! I can't do a Don Callis I'm not even going to try! The Look at all the things that happen when Teto shows up. <laughs> I can't believe Kenta's going to make a guest appearance on Boston Blue Beach. This Teto a brought this a good brother like to five our people in the chat. Yes, this is a joke for two people, and two of them are in this chat. No, I caught it. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. 
Well, there sometimes, we go. Sometimes I forget you're also a, a WWE a FGC. No, yeah, let's go. Yeah, the, <laughs> WWE oh sports. yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Re re wrestling, pro wrestling is pretty much the fusion of fighting games and theater. So like, mm -hmm. it's right there for me. You're not wrong. No, hundred percent. Anji Pumpkin Hill has signed back in to go to your exercise of course. So, all right. <laughs> so looks like we'll have one of our matches coming up here. Looks like Elder Shadow is back in the stream chat. So I'm assuming yeah. we'll be able to get the matches underway here momentarily. Yeah, I know oh. the tails will be here soon. I feel it in my feet. Oh, Nate! I see you asking about how tournaments run. Are are you not not usually a tournament tournament watcher? I'll try to answer stuff as I can. I just like to fill fill people in if they are new to the tournament experience. Please let us let us plug in these knowledge gaps for you. So I don't know if Nuclear Cheese, or sorry, sorry, Elven Shadow and Anji, uh, Anji Mito's Pumpkin Hill theme have met before. Oh, absolutely. Um... Oh wait, what are we doing here? Hey, that, that, that's not, not a matchup. This is not the matchup that we have. This is not the matchup. <laughs> this is not my beautiful matchup. <laughs> oh, Jace versus Dello is is cool, but ah, so yeah, Nate, if you are uh, new, yeah, and so not all tournaments are ran as character lock, um, or rather, most fighting game tournaments are ran where the loser can change which character they want to play. Uh, the winner has to stay as the character that they are, typically speaking. Uh, and outside of like a couple of specific circumstances and a couple of specific games, uh, if you're new to the game, I'm big ups to you for picking it up. Maybe uh, watching this tournament informs what character you like. Maybe you're seeing the character that you like do some gameplay. That's pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, Who do you I like, mean, Nate? Yeah, I was gonna say like watching people in ter play tournament, you know, just to see like see stuff that looks cool and be like, yeah, I want to do that. That's like the beginning of a lot of love affairs with fighting games. I mean, honestly, I learned i decided to play justice in plus r from seeing it justice played in these tournaments actually mm -hmm. shout out to fellow like straight up watching fellow play i was like i want to do that so nice. here we are so like sometimes just you get to see some of the cool possibilities we cannot get the right matchup into nope, this no no we're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna do jace fellow because there we go we have jace well, well jace has to play sooner again than fellow does Got it. Okay, so we're gonna do Jace versus Fellow. We'll get the run back. Yeah. We're gonna get the run back of what we had before, uh, before yeah. Steam uh, did its thing. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll reset the round count or what the players and TOs want to do. Jace was up around. Yeah. That I have no idea. I don't remember. Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's that's what I've been seeing most tournaments do. Is like it's the best approximation that can be done. Oh no, Jace fell out of the lobby. That is unfortunate. Well, we'll sort it out, I'm sure. I had my my love affair character was uh, I knew that I liked Venom, but it wasn't until I saw some high level Venom play that I was like, oh okay, I can get into this game. Because yeah. like I, mean, I played, I played Venom a little bit, just having some fun, but I didn't really understand like what the end game of Venom looked like. And then I watched some like old Mikado footage and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, okay. It's actually like really funny because like both of the players who are like the watching of whom is the reason why I play the characters I play right now are in this bracket. Ah. Like, straight up, and I've said this to him before at Frosty, like, Elven Shadow is the reason why I play Faust. <laughs> <See? laughs> like, really it's really fun. cool to, like, have these folks in our tournaments. I had that when, uh, I got to fight Black Snake in Frosty. And I had a similar experience. Uh, I got, I played, I did well enough in my bracket to fight Black, Black Snake. And then I was like, oh my god, I'm getting my face stomped by the, by one of the best Venoms. Ah! <laughs> Here we go, we're back. No! no! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is... Is this matchup this is... cursed? Are you kidding me? I Tello, cannot come believe back. it. We just want to see, just want to see back. a bear get a yo-yo and hit a giant robot. It's all Tello I want to see. Superior their way out of the bracket, no, out of the room, and then came back. <laughs> God, it's... Steam can't. Yeah, the internet can't handle this matchup. It honestly, it might. Maybe it can't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe we need to remake the lobby. I, I, well, we already remade the lobby last time when it crashed. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, Magpie, I got to fight Black Snake. Uh, Black Snake was my first loss at uh, Frosty this year. Yeah, this I was doing the, pretty it's the good beauty of these open brackets is that you just like say like, oh, I'm in pools with X, Y, and Z players, and you just get to play them, and then they'll, by and large, yeah. because like FGC is cool in the way of just like if you want to run some casuals against basically anyone, you're likely to run into them sometime, and you get to do that. Yeah, like, right. When it is safe to do so, and we are allowed to have them again, <laughs> go to. Yeah. Go to a tournament sometime. It is a fantastic experience. You get to chill with the homies. You get to not go to Buca de Beppo, and you get to play <laughs> sick ass matches. Yes, uh, that's. It. I miss it so much. Like I was yeah. like, uh, I tried to like partially recreate have frosty vibes by like doing like a long voice chat and like webcam like talking with each other for uh, like over the over the over the weekend of frosty and that like partially recreated the vibe of it and i even had like the post tournament depression of like oh, i want to go back to tournament life <laughs> at this point i'm starting to think these two players are screwing with us well <laughs> it, it might be their particular connections too yeah, yeah, um absolutely. it's possible because like i don't know i mean honestly like shit, like much love like these guys these two players are probably about as distant from each other as any two players in our bracket are so I believe Thello is in like somewhere in eastern Canada if I'm not mistaken mm -hmm. and Jace is as you might guess Pacific Northwest from that abbreviation so that's pretty far apart so like if there was a match that was going to give us difficult difficulty this is the one alright well Come fingers on. crossed we're yeah. able to Root make it happen here hold spirit bomb energy into the internet to allow this to no! I've got my hand pressed against the stream trying to send it my energy. Yeah. <laughs> this is my give hand your, reaching out to your hand. Give your ether to the ethernet. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. Well, trying to fill time here best I can. I just want to see some matches. Technology, please. All right. Try to make this happen here. Troubleshooting our way through it. Seeing if we can do it. So sorry, folks. Thank you for sticking with us, those of you who are. It's Guilty Gear. Oh, people are hella excited for Strive. I haven't seen the character that's, like, made my brain pop for Strive yet. I'm, I'm, wait I'm waiting for it to happen, and I'm, I'm hoping they will. But, like, Venom is my, bi my big gear love, and Venom's not in the game yet. So I'm like, hmm, where else do I go? They put Faust in it, so I'm happy. Nice. Yeah, Faust looks super cool. I love yeah. Faust. They just went maximum cryptid with Faust. I love it. Yeah, that tournament at, well, like, again, being at Frosty Faustings in 2020 when that tournament, that reveal happened, was, like, everything I could have wanted. Got it. Yo? All right, here we go. Let's Yo? Go. Please. 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 Lobby, hold up. Lobby, please. All right, here we go. Here we go. Back into it. Take several. Chase or Stella, please. We're all on edge. I'm so like we are. We are in hell. Oh, that's such a cute opening. Yeah. <laughs> I love Bridget video games. Tri tripping the giant robot on their way in. Yep. He's shooting the moon to start us off. That instant kill is incredible. Beautiful. I, I suppose these players did remember their burst status as well because Stello giving up the burst here. Yeah. All right, well, uh, looks like we are now into it. Here we go. We have recreated our situation, and we're back in. You know, what's funny is that we had a we had a match. Well, never mind. I'll take the match to play here. So we got Bridget versus Justice. So we got Roger getting thrown out here. Ooh, we're forcing away with the yo-yo normals, getting some space. Uh, yo-yo still behind. Nice conversion using the yo-yo to extend the combo into the corner. Ooh, kickstart my heart, and then we saw that FRC after that whole sequence there to get the, the placement. Oh, that's so see, scary. You can see Phil using the counter to try and be ready for a kick death, but not coming. And Roger Rush was able to set up a combo, or set up a little bit of a sequence there. Ooh, oh, here comes Dragon Roger. Roger. Oh, get tagged up five and then air thrown. Alright, got the lock on set. Yeah, yeah just just so immobile, you just can't really do much with that lock on on top of you when you're that low on health. Mm -hmm. And Bridget has some like really disjointed hitboxes too, so I feel like that's got to be uh, pretty advantageous fighting up against Justice. Absolutely, like, just, and a character that struggles to just move about the space like mm -hmm. Justice does, like, and with how expert Jace can be at just placing the yo-yo in just the right position, it's like, I mean, Justice is like, I really want to 
go get you. <laughs> but you just can't because you know there's going to be a big teddy yeah. bear in the way. Teddy bear, yo-yo, all sorts of children's toys. Whatever on earth it is. All right, take him to May ship. See if Bella can make something happen here. All right, let's do it. All right, bar slash, bar slash. Jay's sitting up a game, backing off from the noobs there. Yo-yo's placed. <laughs> Dog's going off here. Dog's feeling it. Yeah. You can just get so high up into the sky that those nukes are just not as much of a factor. Oh, it tries to back back. Roger Rush is gonna get the job done. Ooh. All right. Sorry, folks. An opportunity for Thello. It's all right. The dog is feeling it. <laughs> nukes are live on the screen right now. The, Thello trying to advance. Based... <laughs> nice. The the Pinuke did at least stop Bridget from running in to continue the pressure mm -hmm. at the cart. Oh, there we go. We got counter. a counter. Standing on oh, top right. of the yo-yo. Got to keep you mindful oh, no. of that being there. Didn't score the knockdown though, unfortunately. Blocks the Roger extension from the slide. Right, Air Michael Sword. Ooh, Jagged Roger Jagged. forces the block, is clipped by the low, kickstart my heart, bursts out of it. Oh, Killing Machine gets hit by a nuke though, so Brit is not going to be able to do too much for the mix up. Gets hit low. Nice, nice. Use the CP. with the foot kick. But the throw into the corner. Nice blocks by Thello. Gets the first. It feels like. Feels like Delos doing a good job of figuring stuff out in this round here. Wow! Did you see the Snagged. angle of that throw? Snatched out of the JH. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> that that throw interaction was so goofy looking. Nice JP. Justin's JP is very good. You can just kind of spam it honestly, and then this mm -hmm. great confirm to get off of a hit. But oh. all right, push into the corner here. Oh, nice. Able to get a combo into a knockdown. Scores that. Gets some nukes up here. The new place in Steel like it's gotta be really difficult with Bridget, since since Bridget has just since Bridget has so much mobility, you can get up and over the angles that you want to try to set your nuke at. Yeah. And you have to be aware of where the yo-yo is, because that's another factor. It's mm -hmm. it's really, really tough to set up the justice game plan and just match up. We kick that out of the air and back across the screen. Lock on set, Roger Rush comes in. Wow. Nice cross up. I, that that mix up looks really yeah. hard to deal with. The Roger belly, belly flop is a low, so this, yeah, that could be it. Mm, unfortunate for Fellow, but Jace no slouch though, so no no dishonor in that. Thank you so much to our players for toughing that one out for the connection stuff, and thank you all for sticking with us. Uh, Jace well advances in the bracket. Absolutely. In a way, that playing that matchup as Justice feels a little bit like playing every other matchup against Justice, in a way. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, the you just desperately try to find a way to get close to the opponent and then you get knocked away or they get away from you and you have to start all over and it's just like ugh <sighs> alright so oh it's an interesting question there in the chat I do not know that uh, if you slash back the yo-yo target does it still stay on you I, I'm guessing it does because I think it just has to make contact I don't think it has to score a hit <laughs> but I do not know and it looks like yeah. our uh, usual database of stuff is uh, setting up for their match right now, so we'll have to <laughs> we may have to wait until Tails comes back. That's a pretty specific question. Yeah, that that one I wouldn't be surprised. If Tails doesn't actually know. <laughs> this is one thing I love about Gear. There's so much esoteria to it. Oh yeah, there's just so many specific interactions that you just kind of got to see to learn. Uh, it does on block is what someone's saying, so that's why I'm thinking. I I I agree with this assessment. Just the fact that it is making connection whatsoever. So well. Damn, I don't know. Y'all are getting in deep in the deep in the waters here. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. Speaking of deep in, we are deep into this tournament, and we are Bastard. here for winners finals. Winners finals: Elven Shadow versus Tails. Very excited to see this. Absolutely, we're here. We're gonna run this sick ass match. Please, winners finals in a tournament where we got a nice little match arena going, and mm -hmm. let's see if Tails can bring bring the yeah. pain to Elven. That there is a there is a tangible difference here for who gets the first who who wins this one out. Obviously, everybody yeah. always wants to win, but there are some dollars on the line. Yeah, this is turning into some money match territory, right? All right. So, Tails knows a lot about a lot of matchups. I'm not certain how much time Tails has spent fighting about. Well, we did just see uh, Tails Great fight Cyan earlier. Pin. Ooh, bomb is live too. Oh no, the burst cat gets caught by the bomb afterwards. I was worried that was going to happen, but I didn't want to jinx it. And then Tails just got tagged for so much damage. Wave blocks, but can't block the 6 H. And now. Oh, almost stunned. Might be able wow. to combo. Doesn't force even. Two force break pogos into the pogo punch follow up. Wow. That was ludicrous just to tag all that damage on to blow through the guts. Just know exactly how much damage you need to be able to get it. Ooh, we'll get the to the other side through the dust. 
armor through the Faust coin. I'm not sure if that means that it still a happens. We'll know if a, if a chop hits. <laughs> Great damage by Tail so far. Falls down to the candy bar. Great blocks, but gets hit by the next age. Yeah, Tail's not completely out of things yet here. Wow, gets caught by the mini Faust in the air. Trying to get up and over. Ooh, goes for the overhead yeah. extension. Rins and gets the heck out of Dodge. Not bad in that situation. The poison is so bad for the situation. Oh, um, yeah. yeah he has so much gust, but poison is wearing the health away. The bomb! He's up and away from the bomb that didn't hit! T Tails had that spacing down so, so well. Should be death. Nice, nice completion of the combo by Tails, and great oh. avoidance on the bomb as well. Let's go, Tails! Rin, so, and something, something with the Rin there, too. Rin will sometimes do weird auto-correction if it gets tagged from the back end. Um, like, if the... if it gets triggered if the guard point of Rin gets triggered from behind. So Tails might have Rinned there, thinking that the 6H may have come out or something like that. That candy uh, is still there, there, but... Oh, nice knockdown. Wow, almost a stun already. This is looking really, really rough. Nice auto guard super. Gonna do some damage and give Tails a chance to kind of reset. Oh, uses the JD to air break. I'm not sure what the intention was there. Okay, scores the chocolate bar. It's yeah, with how many meter here. Nice, the Fujin grabbed that donut too. Burst is on deck here there from the Pato. There it is. Camera block. Tails not looking like they're out of their league here. Yeah, Blocks the love. Below. Has 50, 25 bar on side. So much meter on Elven Shadow now. Tails has got to be ready Force for it. Force break door. door. Robokai coming. Nice blocks the going my way. Loves out on the field here. Gets pushed back into it. Ooh, such a scary situation here. Wants that meter for oh. usage. <clears throat> Clipped out by going my way. Yeah, blocks the JD, but either might actually have just been chipped out. Because, you know, going my way, you gotta, you gotta fault this. Yeah, that was a, l that was pretty close, though. I mean, yeah, absolutely. big ups to Tails, that's, yeah, that's Tails lost some stuff. I mean, yeah, perhaps warmed up a bit against Cyan Plaza earlier. Uh, this is an, this is quite a, if you're gonna have to deal with the foul, this is the one. Right? But yeah, so, definitely showed plenty of signs there, so, just string a few more things together, and mm -hmm. Tails can make this, make this happen. It is, yeah, it, this is completely in striking range. And we're in winner's finals, too, if I'm correct. If, if, if I, I believe so. Should be here by accident. Yeah, so this should be first to three. It will be, indeed. Right, Blocks the fan talk. But gets tagged, flash follow up, butterfly set up. Gets with the stomp. And first Cash down. Center. Sitting on a nice life lead so far. This is gear, so that could. Nice the first at the right time and going my way to get the side. Nice, pushing the corner here. Big, big life lead at this point. How's Faust on the guts? Do we know? Do we know Faust's guts rating? I think it's low, like lowish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Oh, nice. nice. Stuff's speed extension on the pogo. Meteors yeah, are meteors out there. Meteors are a factor, but you should be out of range of them this close. There you nice. go. Nice. kill. Faust guts is zero. Good stuff. That was also really nice there from Tails. So it uh, to make sure that the meteors didn't have a chance to clip, Tails went into the into a uh, low move. I think that was the 2K to make sure that the uh, meteors didn't have a chance of clipping Anji's standing body. That was really heads up from Tails because I don't I don't see Tails use that route normally. Very smart. Absolutely. So the on back to mid screen, but gets the butterfly set up as well. Goldberg does not deal with it all. Yeah, all it's right. uh, since the butterfly setup off of the own is not always a meaty setup there, good heads up use of getting gold burst instead. Bombs out on the field, but a bunch of other items. This that hurts been so it's much. Still gonna be rough. Where'd your life bar go? Is Elven Shadow a magician just making this shit disappear? Come on. Great use of the JH as per usual by Elven Shadow, just policing the skies. Gold burst though. I like that. Use the gold burst because Elven Shadow is gonna be able to come down oh, with the a button there after the win. The Rin collided with the mini Faust on the ground. That's rough. So did hit with the gold burst. So not completely out of burst in the scenario here, but still unfortunate. Oh, that poison! Yeah. Early she, poison hurts she's so back much. Six age and gets poison. That's yeah, does and doesn't have enough meter to try to fight a way in after the poison. Now is able to get rid of it, but still, look at all that life that was just lost. Yeah. I like knocked down in the corner. Overhead with the orb. Oh, five this is the five D stuff. The overhead. Oh, can't quite get high enough with the auto guard to avoid the bomb. Yeah, I think that was absolutely the plan there, to get up and above the bomb, but didn't quite work out. There's the own for the knockdown. Oh, back in the corner. Or Red butterfly fly, fly jumped out. Really Ooh, good move. Hoo, hoo. Bomb's on the field. It's up and above it. Tries to catch the jump out button. Didn't work out. Gets nice. a throw. Butterfly's out. Gold burst. Here come yeah. some items. Not a great Ooh. item toss sequence for, uh, for Faust there. So this is kind of working out for Tails in that regard. Oh, no. 
Where are the items here? There's, we got a mini Robokai. That's gonna be. There we go. Bombs Another in the field. Bomb. He's gotta get away from it. He does. It's the own. Doesn't have burst. It's my Tail kill. Gets it. There you go. Game One two to tail. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Here we go. This is. A, we got a set of our hands, folks. Okay, let's go. Tails taking the game off Elven Shadow. 1-1, one, one. so this is effectively now put into a first to two territory instead of being a first to three. Whew. Exciting. Oof, yeah, if, right. you're, if you're feeling the energy of this match, hit up that match arena. We are going to hit up game three. Yeah, please do. I'm, I'm having trouble catching my breath here because I'm really excited to watch this match. Who is the jump in? Donut, donut, not what I was looking for. Luigi picked it up, but he me get the corner. All right. All right. Out. in the corner here. Nice blocks here from Tails. Get some nice damage off. here. Pogo, back that, get the combo, butterfly set up. Probably a burst. I'm betting we see a burst here in the next few uh, sequences. Oh, no, it doesn't get a burst. It's in the old-fashioned way and getting a hit. Great stuff by Elven Shadow. Can you believe it? Escaping a situation without burst? Wild. So much meter on deck, too. You might just. Pull goes up and uses the low! That was so smart. Uh, but, yeah, just, we saw that several matches ago. The hop mm -hmm. forward flower. Yeah, and I that was really good there. I like that a lot. The hop up and using the flower there. Good, good, good. Just like, and knows exactly the position to get into, of course. Oh, and the big 5k punish on the burst, too. Uses the auto guard. Alright. Gets, the, gets a little bit of damage there and pushes it to the corner, but Elven Shadow First looking to control the control situation now. Side swap 5k, amazing stuff. Right. Meteor's Here's coming. Yeah. Just jumps up and away from them. Nice evasion, but gets hit on landing. Hit by love, follow up, knock down again. Knock down for it. Oh, oh, hit with with that'll do it. Blackbeat yeah. too, that's, oh, it's so unfortunate when you go out to a Blackbeat yeah. like that. Ooh, mm. that the flower is just such a brutal option. Like, you want to be like, I'm going to hit this dude off this pogo, and then nope. Mm -hmm. oh. Really? Was there a moment where Tails thought about going to ABBA? Tails does, no, has, is, yeah. considered ABBA their lab character, but um, also hates getting instant killed a bunch, so, you know, if you play ABBA, you got to be ready for that. All right, yeah, but, I don't. I don't think game three of, of the set is when you do that, or or, or potentially match yeah, point of the set. Man, yeah, you have to ride that all the way back. And you are up two games, maybe just to try it, but no, not. Nice. All right, push into the corner here. Has relatively equitable life here. No strong advantage from either side. Risk gauge getting cranked yeah, though, for chaos. Oh, and blocks the burst and gets the five k again. Elvin's really been just taking these burst. All right. Decent damage just from a Fuji Grin, but knocked down to the corner oh. going my way. Okay, push in the yep. corner here, blocks the explosion, good stuff. Nice, able to yep. get some corner carry out of this. Hops oh, up and shit. over, over the, the other side. Super. Nice. It doesn't, it doesn't have involved at the back end? What? Uh. I had no idea, that's so cool. Well, the scalpel drop and the mini Robokai, this. Yeah, the meteors oh, too. Into the meteors, that hurts. Wow, yeah. The yeah, any air and the whole combo and the meteors, just everything coming up Elvin. Mm -hmm. Smacked out of the round star pogo, evades <laughs> the dumbbell. I like that, that nice little spacing there, just that yeah. small dash to get up in a or yeah. underneath a bar dumbbell. Oh Another. no, the red butterfly timing wasn't on point. Yeah, it wasn't quite meaty, but gets the gold burst through it anyway, so I guess the resource is still spent. Another hop through! I almost feel like Elven Shadow did that Corner. super there, just to see if the same interaction would occur. <laughs> Perhaps, could just be data, but this round is looking really good for Tails, that should do it. There you go. Alright, All right, Tails, take another round. Yeah. This is gonna be... You know, this is this is set point for Elven, but Tails could take this game and bring it to a final game with this round, but mm -hmm. great 5k. We've clearly seen that Tails has the tools to do it, so this is still very doable. And nice even though there's so life... after the blocked AD. Uh, no, oh, into the own, nice. And even though this life discrepancy looks like it's big in Elven Shadow's favor right now, Anji's life bar is mostly on the back end because of the guts. That's true, and I believe, like, we might have seen that there, where Faust can crawl under the butterflies, I believe, so even just Elvin staying low on mm -hmm. that, keeping oh, the butterfly no. is meaty, no good. Just turned around. Like... There wasn't even a combo, it was just all these little touches that suddenly the half of Tails' life bar was gone. Yeah, so rough. I mean, 
evades the JH on the way down, though, and does get an opportunity here. Fujin. Burst from Elven Shadow. Nice, Wind that's so huge. Catches the burst. Oh, this is completely winnable for Tails right now. Gets in with a jump normal. No dead angle whips. Oh, the Rin doesn't quite hit. Clip by the low. What's it gonna be? Get the candy bar. Watch the other side. Watch going my way. Flies, fire flash. Oh, it's a mini fast. Oh, and the JH. Cat, Cat out the of the air. Button. That was so close for Tails. Tails was absolutely nice. in range. Had the read on the burst too, but unfortunately, Elven Shadow is able to hold on for just that little, little bit longer yeah. and was able to close it out over Elven Tails. Elven Shadow staying composed after, like, Tails was running a really big momentum comeback there, but Elven Shadow <laughs> maintained control and got that snipe. Always yeah. reliable with those JHs. Elven Shadow that advanced. Made hell of a button. Yes. And Elven Shadow advancing to the to, to Grand Finals on the winner's side. Tails sent to the lower half of the bracket. Tails will be fighting up against one of these three players, Nuclear Cheese, Jace, or Cyan Plaza. So we got Cyan Plaza and Jace playing each other for the joy of playing against Nuclear Cheese, and then the winner of that will take on <laughs> I like how we're, Losers Finals. I like how we're so backhanded complimentary towards uh, <laughs> towards Nuclear Cheese. Like, I, I love I have, Nuclear Cheese. Nuclear Cheese is fantastic. Like, oh yeah, I have nothing but the utmost respect, but, but we're like, oh yeah, who gets the joy of doing this? <laughs> I love Nuclear Cheese. Nuclear Cheese is a wonderful person. Playing against Nuclear Cheese is the most stressful thing. I have I have I have several friends like this. I feel you, <laughs> Nate. Yes, the Faust items. What Faust will get when the, when Faust pulls an item using the special is random every time, and yeah. you see it coming out. So Faust players often, you know, have the experience of they have likely seen the situation more than you have. And yes, the percentages are definitely different. Like Mini Potemkin is, I believe, one in two fifty six. That's mm -hmm. why we haven't seen one in this bracket yet. I believe. But yeah, like, you know, you're creating a chaotic situation that you're betting on you're being more able to react to and know what to do in than your opponent. Yeah. And, and that's Elvin, great. And you're not going to find a more experienced Faust in North America than Elvin Shadow. He's, Elvin Shadow is absolutely just a Faust legend in North America. And, you know... Yeah, so in the, with if if you're new to gear and you may not have the, the lore here, Elven Shadow is uh yeah, one of the premier NA players, uh like what top I, I don't I don't know if I can say a number of how strong, but certainly the strongest yeah. Faust. Yeah, absolutely. And you know the Faust I mean I could talk about Faust forever if I had to. I love the character. And we're gonna get a chance to do some more with Cyan Plasma Match coming up, but mm -hmm. honestly after if you're if you play Faust and you fall in love with Faust, it is legitimately difficult to find a character you love in any other fighting game because I, I will straight up like not basically no other character or very few other characters allow you to freestyle like Faust does and I love that about the character always will pardon yeah, we're gonna we're chilling. Yeah, you know, I can talk about how much I love Fast Fruit, but because why the hell not? <laughs> I feel like I get this similar vibe when I play uh, Venom, due to how Venom's ball sets work. Yeah, and you just get all, to do the... all these cool, intricate things. Yeah, well, and like with with Venom, I really like it because it's like there's even amongst the best Venom players that I've seen, it feels like there's still untapped potential with that character, just with how his angle controls work and stuff like that. It's really yeah. cool. It's, there's so much of an art to playing Venom. I respect Venom players so much. <laughs> Please don't. I, I just force break Stinger Ram or force break Carcass Raid and Prey. Whatever. <laughs> I, I have like three <laughs> setups I cycle between. <laughs> I'm just downplaying it, actually. I'm very smart. I'm very smart. I love that. I would love to play you. <laughs> I, haven't ever, I, I don't think we've ever actually played Well, we that. should do that sometime. Next time Absolutely. Next time you're, you're fiending for gear, feel free to hit me up. Absolutely. Yeah. What? <laughs> Alice, how could you? <laughs> playing nice. against my Venom feels like playing against an overconfident anime villain. Uh, okay, that's that's true. I do I do let my, I do accidentally uh, overextend a lot of the time. You're you're not you're, wrong. You're approaching me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, tails! You're throwing me into the bus too. Can't believe it. While we're waiting for our next match to come up, I'm gonna do this. Hmm? Hit the Matcherino again. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> so throw that Matcherino link in the bracket one more time. Thanks everybody to who has contributed so far to get our prize pool for our first match arena for a weekly up to $150. Just fantastic. There's still some quests left that you can take take part in on Twitter if you want just to get us some stuff. Especially the one that says follow at Casa Bunch. We love those folks. They run another sick bracket. But just get in on some of this stuff. Pump the prize pool a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Support this whole thing that we're building. 
the cost right. a bunch the cost a bunch folks are really cool very friendly they've had me on before and they're very yeah they're very friendly i uh, please support them check out their events uh they run a tournament on friday nights so if you want to see more guilty gear and other games you can check that out tomorrow night unfortunately it's all, you're gonna what I gotta enter their bracket more often. Friday nights are a tough one. So tired. Yeah, Friday nights are difficult. Like, Friday for a local I can justify, because it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out and be with people. Friday online is, like, a little bit yeah. dicier. Mm -hmm. mm. Dizzy's super cool, Nate. You could do worse. She's a very strong character as well, so she has all the tools to do things. She has some of the sickest combos um, that I've seen. Uh, she has this pin that goes out and the pin doesn't release until you let go of the button that you use to set it up so she can do combos where she has multiple pins that she releases throughout the combo it's very cool well wait no not, not multiple pins but she uses the pin release to alley you portions of the combo cool character she's the closest i have to a secondary in this game venom then dizzy then cliff one of these I things is not like the other <laughs> Given how much I love the love the character, I wouldn't be surprised if I mess a little bit more with um, Plus R Faust now that I've gotten more comfortable with Plus R as a game by playing Justice as much as I have. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see, but like, oof. the this is such a strong fat version of Faust, but so much of the stuff is just so tough to do. And like the game itself, like the engine, just having so many things that are like tighter than what Exert requires mm -hmm. means that they're all the stuff is even that hard, that much harder to do on top of that. Yeah, that's it's kind of been exciting for me to play this game because it has that tighter window like you're talking about. But yeah. I yeah, it, it can it can feel intimidating sometimes to pick up other characters for that reason. It can make you feel like you're like Rockley taking the damn weights off when you go back to Exert though. It's like input buffer, let's go. It's it's made my uh my other fighting games better for sure. So yeah. And also no tails, I, I do not want to play Anji. That's if, if I play No, I can't I can't do that. Anji's not for me. Anji is a cool character, has butterflies. I like butterflies as an aesthetic, but not for me. See, it has it has a reversal. If a character actually has a a, a meterless reversal, like I, I it doesn't does, doesn't vibe with me. This Amen. is a thing I've this is a thing I've been realizing, Agra Craig. I've been realizing that uh, not saying that this is something I look for in a character, but all the characters that I pick end up not having meter meterless reversals. I mean it's <laughs> nice to be able it's nice to be able to reuse that complaint. Like, it's yeah. just, no reversal again, goddamn. I don't even have a DP, and like, of course you're gonna smother me with your pressure. Duh. <laughs> yeah. My reversal is smash and throw. Everybody knows this. I mean, yeah, that's I, I come from playing Marvel, so mashing throw to get out of pressure, yes. <laughs> 100. So yeah, we have remaining in the bracket for folks here with us. I don't know who else I'd be talking to if you're not here with us. Remaining in the bracket, we have two Fausts, a Bridget, a Soul, and Anji. So pretty good character variety. Mm -hmm. I think one of the few characters I haven't seen in... Uh, have I seen everybody in your tournaments? I think I've seen pretty much the entire cast in your tournaments. Pretty Maybe. close. I think uh, the only person I haven't seen in your tournaments is Slayer. Slayer and Chip. Yeah, I... I believe we might have had Chip at some point. Um, but... And I... You know, if we ever are able to run a tournament that Search 117 is able to join, um, Search plays like 10 characters, one of which is... Yo. Slayer. So Same. there is that. <laughs> Slayer, plus our Slayer is wild. <laughs> like, there's so much just ridiculous stuff that Slayer, oh, Slayer can do and just like vomits damage all over your opponent. Slayer was one of the characters I tried first in this game, uh, and then I played him for a little bit when I saw oh, what's his big punch super called? Not Pile Bunker, <laughs> Dead on Time. Yeah, Dead on Time. I saw Dead on Time and I was like, that's that's a move I want to do. This is that's a dopamine move. This this yep. makes my brain have happy chemicals. Absolutely. That's, good. That's how you, what you got to do in fighting games, people. Before, in, before you're worried about getting competitive, just find the thing that makes your brain release the happy chemicals. Whatever yeah. that might be. Yeah, whatever it is that makes you feel good to hit people with. Whether it's watching your opponent tumble helplessly to the ground from nuke to nuke. Um, whatever it is. Yeah. Or yeah. honestly, even if it's just like, this character's hair looks cool when they walk backwards. Yeah. That's cool, too. Like, that's one of the reasons I picked up Leona in KOF. I saw, yeah. I saw Leona's hair bounce, and I'm like... Done. Sold. Ugh, looking for. I always love 
I haven't played a KOF in a, or like in a while, but ah, that game played... has King in it, so it'll always be okay by me. Sick. I started. I played a little bit of KOF ninety eight earlier today for kicks with somebody. So, like uh, the the Iori trailer dropped for KOF fifteen, which looks super sick. Oh, I did see that. Iori sick. And uh, when the trailer dropped, some people were like, "Yo, we should play some KOF." And I said, "Sure, let's go." Yeah, put Iori in Strive. <laughs> if there were, if you were going to put a KOF character in gear, who would it be? I feel like Leona would actually be a pretty good fit. Leona would actually be alright. Because, um, like, she got, like, energy swords on her hands and shit, too, so you could, like, just crank that up. Um, can I cheat and say Nakaru? <sighs> I guess. She's been in a KOF game, so She's you get through on... She's been in a KOF fighters. That'd be fun. Oh, Ash. Ash is a great pick, Flack. Ash would be alright, yeah. That is an excellent pick. Ooh, maybe we'd finally have a good install in Guilty Gear. I'm freaking Clark in. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just want all the characters I like. Put Athena in, whatever. <laughs> uh, Athena's, yeah. uh, yeah. Athena's on my evergreen KOF team. Yeah. Thank you for bearing with us, folks. We are waiting for one of our players to finish up one of their matches off on another stream. Thank you for your patience. We do appreciate. Oh, you're right. I forgot about Goku Roha. That's, like, the other the other install. I was thinking about the uh, all the garbage installs in Gear Tales. Thank you for calling me out. I appreciate it. That is, like, not sarcasm whatsoever. <laughs> I appreciate the correction. I want a move called Garbage Install. <laughs> well, I guess you could... I, I mean, you could call Oro's... Oro's, uh... Super and Third Strike Garbage Install. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Order Soul oh, feels like... Pretty. Are they playing right now? I'm gonna... I will be back in a moment. All right. Did you figure out how to run ass? All right. So it looks like we are uh, maybe taking a small breather here, folks, while we wait for the next match to come up, and we're going to take a t take the moment to catch our breaths as well. Uh, but after that, though, that should be the last match where we have our players playing in other brackets to the extent of my knowledge. So hopefully after this, we'll be able to get through things uh, in a timely fashion. Thank you so much for your patience and bearing with us, though. It is appreciated. I'm not sure if we're throwing up, like, a uh, we'll be right back screen or... Okay, cool.
right now because I was grabbing a quick snack while we had some downtime. We should have Jace versus Scion Plaza coming up here in just a moment. Thank you very much for bearing with us. Yeah, absolutely. You finish up your finish up your snackery, and we will get this show on the road once Scion Plaza is back and around. We wouldn't be surprised if Scion Plaza, you know, got up, stretched the legs, grabbed a snack of their own while waiting for their opponent to come back for another tournament. Could well be. I don't oh. know. Scion, Scion Plaza strikes me as a cryptid type. I think it would have been something uh, weirder. Just teleported to another plane for a while or something? Yeah. I mean this with, like, the utmost respect, too. I think Scion Plaza would appreciate this. They do play. Please, so, you know. Your all Faust players can do stuff like that. We just don't talk about it very often. All right, let's get into it. So we got Bridget versus Faust. Items uh, versus Yo-Yo. Uh, all right. So, I mean, like, you know, Faust can control lots of aerial space, but you know, no matter how good your anti-air buttons are, Roger does not care. Roger will just belly flop right through him. Alright. Backs off, th chucks out the love. So supposedly Bridget's, uh, Bridget's long-range anti-air there that you saw might be a- Wow! Uses the burst just to get out of the cross-up starship. I like it. I respect it. Yeah, Faust is gonna have to be aware of that success, because, you know, dropping out of the sky after throwing love, if you get mm. success, that's the problem. Goes from, from above, gets caught by the sweep afterwards. Sweep allows for the yo-yo setup though, which might just be enough. Nice block, you can pop on the overhead and just start my heart. Ooh, I feel like this is something where Cyan may have some trouble doing with it, because while they are a good player and strong, uh, if they can't get their momentum going, I'm not so sure how, how they can handle the Bridget offense. And also, Bridget being able to just ha has an actual re needleless reversal, and also being able to use all of his mobility might make it too a little difficult for Cyan to play around. Absolutely. Doing a lot of evasion right now, but can't mm -hmm. get a hit to connect on Bridget. There we go, hits with the love, and a 6 age Mm, yeah, traded with the, on the 6H there, caught with the love trade in the air. Pulls yeah, back, gets the lock on. on. Kicks Roger, but that's not what you want. Nice, so much starship here. Kicks uh, out my heart in the follow-up. Just jumps. Break door and, evades the door and the pan. Just great stuff by Jace. Jagged Roger, not active as the throw expires. Gets up above oh, the bomb. The bomb goes on bomb. You hate to see it. Ooh. That's, I think Cyan needs to take a take a second, check in. Oh, nope, just gonna dive right back into it. All right. Absolutely, gonna make this happen. I mean, this is a tricky one. Like, I'm not 100% certain what Faust wants to do in this matchup. I mean, like, all of the things that Faust can do to really chase down a bridge, like, from above or, like, very uh -huh. in the middle, and on block are gonna get blown up pretty badly, so... Maybe, like, we saw the Force Break door employed a little bit when Bridget mm -hmm. was closer to the ground, but even that, Jace was able to dodge out of, so it, it, this might be an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. Alright, getting some space here. Mm -hmm. Can't even establish a little, can't even establish a life lead. I don't think we've seen Cyan establish a life lead at all. Uh, well, up until just now. Here. Ooh, but air thrown out of a look like a JD is there. Jace's off. throws are so good. Like, I... Yeah, every single time I've watched Jace play, I, there's been a situation where I'm like, Really? A throw? There? Nice block on the 6-8, sure. fourth break door. Alright, 5k out of the sky, gets hit by 2k and 2 Nice Star use of Starship, Starship there. Ooh, the Roger slide. Yeah, nice force break pogo setup to get the damage from above with. Oh, see, yeah, so as a tool to try to handle people playing Runaway, I think... Cyan is trying to use the teleport, but with Bridget you can't really use that because Bridget is so mobile that your teleport tracking is, is, is a lot less effective than it is elsewise. Oh, force break door, but then Jagged Roger interrupts the follow up! Jagged Roger the homie, and air thrown out of the air dodge. Nice mm -hmm. stuff, Jace, once again. One more round here for Cyan Plaza, but Jace here is also. Let's not forget, Jace was just playing matches off stream here, so or off of our stream. So Jace is warmed up and ready to fight too. Also, was just fighting another Faust. So brutal. Yeah, this is actually like in that context, this All is right, like the, the worst corner. scenario for Cyan. Oh, but the six H is too early to be meaty, and this is gonna be rough. Nice counter. Oh, that long combo. Look how much damage that was. That deep into the life bar as well. That's so important. Another air throw by Jace. Beautiful. Just getting mauled here. Desperation 5D at the last minute to try and involve through something, but Roger is just there to catch him. Ouch. Alright, great work by Jace there, moving on. Yeah. Jace advances, Cyan sent out of the bracket. Uh, hell of a run though, Cyan played very, very well up against the other players that they encountered in the bracket. So, you know, un unfortunate that it didn't pan out in this match, but Jace, extremely strong player, and this is also one of those where... 
if you don't have the matchup experience against Bridget, that is so hard to deal with. Absolutely. All right, like, so now we've got si er, Jace versus Nuclear Cheese. Maybe we've seen this plenty of times in the past. See it again. All right, Jace versus Nuclear Cheese. This is going to be a first to two. We're not quite to losers finals just yet. We've got Tails and their Anji waiting in the winners final. Or sorry, waiting in the losers final side of things. But for now, this will be first to two with Nuclear Cheese and Jace. Shout out to Stone raiding us with a few more viewers. Welcome. Yo, what up to the Stone chat? Coming to join us. Come the and join some gift here. Yo, the Stone 13. I like it. Yo. Thanks for joining the chat. Thanks for joining the stream. You are showing up for top four of Boston Blue Beat. We got Elven Shadow, Elven Shadow waiting on the grand finals. And, and for now, though, Jace vs. Nuclear Cheese. Let's go. Nice Annie. Yo, that Roger color is sick. Another anti air. Jace on point with you so far. And an air throw. Jace on another Ooh. level right now. FRC's the starship as well. Didn't get too much else out of the FRC, but I just like to see the FRC itself, period. You know? Tyrant Rave and the yo-yo still got set up while the Tyrant Rave was being blocked. That was oh, big damage. Oh no, misses it. She's going to be on the last legs for this round, and that's going to do it. Damn, Jagged Roger hit you afterwards too? You ever get cut up by a teddy bear after you're already dead? Kind of messed up. Yeah, kind of a message. Nice Volcanic Viper in the corner. Whoa, anti airs, anti airs the bandit bringer as it was coming down and his fist was lit up. I'm shocked. All right. Yeah, that is just confident. You must Yo, get we saw the FRC Gunflame bandit bringer there. That was nice. All right. Calling up here. Ooh, Gold first out. get out of there and also get all that meter. Starship RC to keep pressure. Let's yeah, you just you spent just spent the gold burst. Go ahead and cash out that meter. Grand Viper, no burst to get a punish off, but Sidewinder. this might be death. Dead. Force break Sidewinder for the finish. Nice. All right, let's go. One round of beast. What do we got? Air dash forward with the JPs and Volcanic Viper to take the corner. Mm -hmm. Evades nice the side. Yeah, evades the starship, but gets thrown. Bandit Bringer gets uh, connected there. Push the corner. Yep, that yo-yo is still present, but... Oh! Starship lifts, but so does Wild Throw. And here we go. Able to get an airstream there. Recess the position of the yo-yo. Ooh, just doesn't have it out live right now. Bursts out of the pressure. Alright. Cheese goes to the 5D, but not quite the right range. Right Sam catches on the... Ah! IADs over the Jagged Rogers and gets the hit. Nicely done. Was that game one or was that game two? This is happening so game fast one. now. Oh, game, game one. one. Wild. Okay. Yeah. Strong stuff by Cheese there. You know, back and forth in the first two rounds, Cheese really pulled it together for the final one there. Cheese needs one more game here to advance onwards to the loser's final. Let's see what Jace can do here. Jace got to get out of the Faust mindset after playing a bunch of Faust stuff and now got to deal with a completely different kind of character. Right? All right, back to the a nice, color. Got to fight a nice, honest character like Soul. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Catch right. it with the screen. Pushes nice. away. We dare with that. Ooh, ride stamp catches there. Gunflame up on the, for the black beat. It's up and above the bandit bringer. Not able to score too much else after that, but able to find a counter hit after that situation. Yo yo is set. Call it back. There we go. Yo yo just sinisterly sitting in the middle of the green, but not much coming out of it. Yep. Yo yo just sitting there, staring at you menacingly. Jagged Roger interrupts the sequence there, blocks the burst. Nice. First block, not a huge punish, but that will take a long time to come back. Roger get, scores a knockdown, or scores a hit. Jagged okay, Roger, taking the, taking the lead, but we'll get to the bandit. Gets a sweep there, wow, knew that the gunflame wasn't quite going to reach and uses the sweep there afterwards. Right, Sam, getting the heck away from Roger, and getting the bandit into the oh, no. sidewind loop. Use all this meter to get the... That, that was a force clean hit and air grabs attack. Jason's been doing it to so many people, gets a taste of their own medicine. Right, and that was on a black beat too, so that didn't have to happen. That hurts so much. 6P counter hit for the wall bound. This is gonna ache too. Oh no, the burst gets caught by the gunflame. Oh no, that, no, that wasn't a burst. Yeah, you tried to use the attack button, but gunflame is so active that that's not great. 6P is the riot stamp though, and this Let's is gonna go. be good. That's a little, little bit of a start. Whoa, Volcanic DP's Roger, Roger out? Right out. Okay. Catch with the dust. Oh, oh is that one above things here? This is like this is get... this is game point. Yeah, it is. And Jesus, massive life lead. That's it. Do it. Outstanding. Wow. Cheese showed up.
and yeah, that was just, before you know what was happening, it was over. Dang. Damn. Well, Jace eliminated from the bracket. Nuclear Cheese advances on to face Tails in the losers' finals of our tournament. And also, there's some dollars on the line here, folks. Our Macharino got bumped to $150. And yeah. speaking of the Macharino, there are still Macharino codes. If you want to push that along a little bit further, please feel free to do so. You can find that in the link. Support, support what we got going on here. We're growing this, we're growing this uh, little tournament. Scene. We got coupon, coupon code Bluebeat for an extra 25 cents. Yeah. Yeah, and this... you contribute to the Macharino with Bluebeat. Yeah. I'm sure there's still some of those coupon codes remaining to be used, and it'll just help add some money with just a little bit of your time. Please do. You can use your sign in from your Twitter or from something else, so it doesn't you don't actually have to make a new account or anything. It's only twenty five cents, but it shows folks that people are here and checking it out. So please do consider hitting up the Macharino. Yes, this stage. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna pick the Mario on Luigi stage, but they didn't, and I re I resent that. Alright, well, Tails vs. Nuclear Cheese, this is a New England classic in the Guilty Gear scene, and I love to watch it every time. Alright. So, let's get to it. Uh, this is first to three. Let's see how it turns out. What do we got for Wow, JP. Jump, rising JP at the start. All right. Yeah, get a couple of counter hits right off the gate. That's the whole one. Uppercut it out of the fan throw follow up as well. Good stuff. Not holding anything is Nuclear Cheese. Wow. Oh, boy. Put another right there. Get the trade. Like, every opportunity to say no, you do not get pressure. Nuclear Cheese is season here. Like, these were, that was like four situations that Nuclear Chi should have had to hold something on pressure, but instead takes the risky option and turns it into this life leap. What? And it, yeah, that was an, uh, and Tails had a really great backdash out of the factor Tyrant Rave, but then Nuclear Chi's ready with a regular old Tyrant Rave as well. Oh, but here we go, Tails. Oh, big damage. Falling back into the corner. We gotta respect all that meter that. Gets hit by the Riot Stamp. Yeah. If you want to try and do some meaty lows against Soul, he yanks himself up into the sky with Riot Stamp, so it's tough. Damn, is, he, is he off the floor, like, immediately with that? Wow. It's very fast if it's not Okay. Right it's, I'm not sure exactly what. All right, hit with the food nice. into the corner. Gets clipped. Riot wow. Stamp all over. Oh, FRC on the Riot Stamp that time and throws it up with the Grand Viper. Viper. I love it. I love it. This is stuff of Soul Player's dreams. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, um, Volcanic Viper stuffs the extension? Are you kidding me? Rin has some armor, but it's not there forever, and she has the Volcanic Viper right ready. Nuclear Cheese, right. what are you on right now? As Tails themselves would put it, boom, boom headshot. Ugh. Head <laughs> oh. That was incredible. Yeah, that was outstanding. Alright, and that was only game one. We still got at least two more games to go here. At least, if not more. I want to see Tails get on the board. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Tails, you know, has the experience. He's got to make this thing happen. But, like, I mean, Fujin is a great, you know, semi-DP. Alright, gets the burst. That was so weird, and too, because Grand Viper through. crossed under as the burst came out, too. Yeah, Wild. you know. There is the, the opportunity to use the burst to punish your Grand Viper on hit, but it didn't work out there. Alright, get the, get the, the hit burst. to try to punish the VV, but get the Ooh. burst instead, which not VV a bad thing to more. get. Nice dash back there with the JS afterwards. RC's. Ooh, scoop out of the great, RC. Nice great job. Throw out of the Take Grand Viper RC. Get the oh, overhead. nice damage. Gonna be a good setup here as well. Go back mid screen. Oh, dead angle's nice out of it. Nice the dead angle. Right, again, ready to DP through the rim. Oh, all right. Yeah, the low stuff to the Rin extension, but uh, Nuclear Cheese either got stuttered or didn't believe in the follow-up. Grand Viper, you might just be dead. Has nope. burst available? Nice. Really? Right. Oh, but yes. I wonder what that was. Oh, oh Tails in such a rough spot, right? Oh, wait. Rin, though. Hold up. Oh, oh no, oh, missed no. the extension. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, that's brutal. That looked like that could have been. That could have comboed, and then there wasn't any burst left from Soul, so there could have been more after that. That's that yeah, is so he unfortunate for Tail. Tries to boot through the gun flame and eats like forty percent for it as well, and gets DP'd out of the JD. If I'm Tails right now, I'm trying so hard to keep my mental gauge up because yeah. after a drop in that situation where you you very likely could have turned that round around. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, and Riot sends out of the back dash. Everything coming up cheese right now. Has to burst out, but right back in. 
Damn. Damn. Volcanic Viper for the game. Damn, she is absolutely She's on one. On fire right now. You All think right, she's Tail, sitting up two games? Tail could are... hopping right back into it. Okay. Yeah. Always advocating of just take a take a breath, especially after some some mental damage that the the some of that game could have been. Yeah, I, I I don't know how Tails' mind game is, but for me, if I if I would have been in that situation, I'd be I would need at least like thirty seconds of just like taking a breath and like drumming my fingers on my stick. <laughs> Tails is right back into it. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Ooh, wow, jump! Just neutral jumps at round start, and the stomp yeah. goes below it. But neither, nothing from that situation though. Guy fujin through the quick stage. Tails been fujin through a lot of quick stages this evening. Nice air, any air counter hit. Oh, gets caught by the gunflame burst. Doesn't want to give it the corner position. Volcanic Viper gets to put into the knockdown situation. Oh, the dash back into the force break sidewinder. Oh, that was so sick. That was. Oh, that was outstanding. Oh, the brain on nuclear cheese. Oh, Riot Stamp in the Riot back. Stamp. Oh, didn't go. get the follow-up from the hit, though, so from the Rin, so I wasn't able to get a further uh, combo. However, oh, turning right. into some nice stuff here. Oh, Grand Viper yep. underneath the Butterfly. Yeah, it takes a real low to go under everything. Oh, so much meter on... RC? Yeah, so much meter on Cheese's side. Might have been trying to call out an RC with some kind of auto guard follow-up. Mm-hmm. Oh, gets a ground bounce, but not able to hit the 5k afterwards to score any kind of conversion out of it. Yeah, or, or ball out of that for a follow -up. Oh, spaced Jump out from the burst. Nice this is such a hard time for Tails right now. The burst whiffs, so it doesn't even have the partial burst gauge filled. Oh, it that's the rise, damn, get caught low in the Vanna Revolver. Alright, gets a hit. Here we go. Wake time up time. Let's go. Oh no, Tails! I wanted to believe! Oh. FRC Gunflame pushed into the corner, that's it! That's gonna do it. It, mu it must be possible to Fujin through Gunflame for how many times Tails was trying to do it, but it just wasn't working. Yeah, like, I gotta imagine that the uh, the travel time on it, may maybe if you time it right, it carries you far enough through it that it doesn't matter? Question yeah, mark? It, it's gotta be an option. Like, Tails would not be going through for an option that doesn't exist that many times. I have to, mm -hmm. like... It they're familiar enough with the matchup to not do that. It just was not working out. I might be mistaken. It might just be totally bullshit and it doesn't work, but, you know, mm -hmm. that's got to be the mind, the game plan, at least, that that's a, poss that's a, that's a possibility. But All right. Here we are. So, on to our next match. Now it'll be Nuclear Cheese going up against Elven Shadow. This is Grand Final situation. Great. And I know that we had at least a couple of folks here who were new to watching tournaments. In a grand final situation, the loser, the person playing from the lower half of the bracket, has to reset the bracket against the person in the winner side. So they have to win two sets in a first to three. This is a, and this is going to be a run back from earlier in top eight when Elven Shadow sent Nuclear Cheese to losers, and Nuclear yeah. Cheese, you know, got came back, got that data, beat some people up, and now is back to try and get some revenge. All right, let's go. Let's do this. All right, round start 6P with <laughs> mini cost in play. Right, stands off the nice. pogo. Gets hooked by the reeling. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, All nice right, bandit bringer. Oh, not able to turn that into a big. Not able to turn it into a bigger damage. Cornered. All right, banner nice. revolver. Gunflame Ooh. RC, but the gunflame actually hit, and almost looked like Cheese wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that was an awkward follow-up situation. Alright, Robokai went in the wrong direction. Benefit for Cheese there. Grand oh, Viper. nice! And not a problem, but gets anti-aired by the 2K. Tyrant Rave. Tyrant Rave. Has a life lead here, uh, although Elven Shadow does have Burst on deck as well as a bunch of meters, so even though there's a life lead here, the resource game is still in Elven Shadow's hand. Oh, mini Robokai is there, right as the Riot Stamp gets locked, too. And Ooh. another 6 that move is... Elvin just deploys it at just the time when the mental stack is too crowded to be like, I gotta block the overhead. I wonder if it hits low enough, too, to swat uh, Grand Viper out of startup movement. It might well. Alright, here we go. Gets the wild throw. Sidewinder. First out at just the time when Sidewinder would hit. That is where you gotta go. Alright. Oh, catches with the Now you hit. UK over the, over the gun plan. Oh, right. Grand Viper nice sliding on in here. It's back there. Baffner, Tyrant Rave, big damage. One more hit to do it. And yeah, there's the bandit! Let's go! Nuclear Cheese! Right, 
Alright, here we go. One round of beats. Yo, First, the song and the sound mod, too. This is sick. Lock the bandit, back that. Just gets hit by the gun flame, though, but no follow up. Gets underneath the love, but doesn't quite. Oh, wow, the 2K. Nice, Andy, on the here? Revolver. Left plan on go. the love. We got Mini Faust out on the field here. Blocks it. Blocks the 6H. Catches the Riot Stomp after the Pogo. Nice. Oh! Blocks the Force Break Pogo. I'm hit. Yeah, I'm hit free block. on that one. Absolutely. Good block. Oh, FRC's the Riot Stamp, but gets stuffed on it either way. So yeah. close to stun here. Oh, There's the yeah. stun. R slash just stuffing so many Riot Stomp attempts because it's just right at that right vertical level to catch him on the way up. And then gets hit by a hammer out of the sky and you're stunned. Alright. Get back into it. First game of nuclear cheese. Uh, the score is not correct. Um, it'll get fixed. It's all good. Still got a score left over from a previous match, but they're almost there. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we're in business. All right. Yeah. Yeah. First game, game was two. over. Here we are. Game two. Oh, gets hit by the 2D and the Pogo. That bounce coin does whip. So that's good. Getting pushed back in the corner here. Uses the die kick to get. Or the J2K over the Gunflame. Ooh, pushing the corner here. Volcanic Viper waiting and big, pretty good lead for Cheese already. Lock the Force oh. Break door. Oh, I love the Force here. Break. I love the Force Break door to create the sandwich situation with the Mini Faust. Where are the Meteors? There. It's under the Meteors. Oh. Wow. Yeah. And hits 5D. Impossible dust. Looks like yeah. Oh, but not a clean hit to finish. Oh, Grand Viper does a lot of damage. There does oh. good damage there. Almost able to close it out. Not quite so though. Much meter on Cheese's side. Oh, Mini Rob Robokai ruined it. Yo, Robokai the homie? There you go. Who's homie this time, though? Nice job, I Right? <laughs> All right. Let's go. One to cheese here. Goes for the round star 6P again. Probably Ooh, a good option against six a lot H. of Faust's bigger normals. Gets up and above the bomb. bomb. Meteors oh, are out. Meteors, and you're not going to get out of there. Yep. All right. I mean, honestly, that's probably as good of a situation you could hope for. Right. Hit. Nice. We got Sidewinder. But it is still going to do a good 30% or so. Alright, he gets hit out oh. of the band of recovery. Hit with the Pogo for oh, the end. Oh, Mini Potemkin! Mini Potemkin is here and going on into adventure. And he's gone. <laughs> Farewell, Mini Potemkin. Mini Potemkin, you wait. So rarely. And... Oh, and RC's to evade the dead angle. That was sick. Yo, are you kidding me, dude? Knocked out of the corner. Last chance in this game for Elvin. That would be that'd be a game of peace. RC's run up low. Yo, we got one one by nuclear cheese. All right, Robocop running up and bringing it at the end, but too little, too late. All right, game two to nuclear cheese. Not going down without a fight. Okay. Now we got a now we got a first to two in this first set of grand finals. Nuclear cheese got to ride this momentum and keep taking this through to at least the reset and then the rest of the tournament. Yeah, obviously has the tools and able to play with an up able to has the tools and can use them and knows how to play with them so let's see if he can do it again yeah but got to be really careful about getting into a rhythm or into something that elven shadow can read because experienced players will do that to you oh 100 percent, especially in this game too oh gets up and above the bomb oh right. nice the gun, gun flame stuffs the the uh the real end yeah gun flame is tall enough that the scalp the tip of her box can be caught by it it's great oh but oh. gets hit by the 6h and loses the burst mm. that, that hurt Robokai's out on the field, gets up and over with the Bandit Bringer. Yeah, bandit Bringer him. over, Robokai, beautiful. Ooh. So much meter, blocks the Blocks the sick gate, bombs on the field, what are you gonna do? It's away from it. Elven Shadow jumps on over it, uses it to control the space Find to get in. Bomb. All right, get caught with just in case, but get caught by J2K. Oof. Whew. All right. Oh, Volcanic Viper, right. round start. Let's go. Absolutely. All right, Mini Fouls can play. That's going to be a factor that she needs to be aware of. Jumps over it. Nice blocks nice all that. Block. Right stamps and underneath the, the hammer. hammer. Right. I oh, like it. Out of the air and another Mini Potemkin! Mini Potemkin! Haven't Big seen him all night, and then he's here twice in one day? And he, that thing hits three times, so he is, he's already been hit, but there he is again! Grand Vipers the into the Mini Potemkin! Are you doing this just to show us that you will nuke their cheese? I don't get it. Oh, but it's still there! A reminder, and folks, okay? Mini, Mini Potemkin shows up one in 256 times, and it showed up twice in this set. We have not seen it the rest of the evening, even though we had two Faust players. And then it shows up here, twice. I love it. Fantastic. Mini nice. Faust? All right, here we go. This is an opportunity for Cheese here. It's not going to be so enough. So much damage. Before him will be needed, but... Oh, the big 2H needs to burn. Real to the poison. Okay, then it gets out of the poison. Right, MRC runs up. No, and... Cheese gets the burst back. No opportunity to use it. 
Elven Shadow takes game three. It is two, one, Elven Shadow's advantage. Elven Shadow sitting on match point. If Elven Shadow wins this, does not need to worry about resetting the bracket uh, and just takes the takes the whole tournament. Absolutely. And all that match arena money along with it. But she's still in it. She's still in the dark. All right, stream. This is potentially the last game of the night. Get hyped. Get excited. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. If you're looking for a comeback, give some energy to nuclear cheese. It tries to run this whole thing back. Oh, Annie Air 2K and Annie Air 6P. It's a knockdown. All right. Oh, you chucking donuts. Yeah, just a couple food items so far. Riot stamps off the Pogo. And gets caught with the gun flame. Yo, the Tyrant Rape to blow up the love and try to catch out something? I know it didn't work out, but I love the look of it. Yeah. He does get hit with the Faust Coin, though. So the next time any kind of chop happens, that will hurt. Oh, great use of the Force Strike Pogo. Ooh, goes right underneath the right the stick? Got a dodge. Okay. Just chucking hammers here. Has a life lead too, so the pressure is on nuclear cheese to try to find a way in and make something happen right, here. There, there. Oh, it looks like it is. Yeah, BB knocked down in the corner. Throwing some gun flames. Fire rage. Put a bunch of fire on the screen. Hope the house gets caught. It kind of seems like what, that's the, the plan currently. Hey, why not? You have to get in and get score some sort of, of knockdown. There dash JP gets hit out of that 2 age. So many great blocks from Elven Shadow, though. Goes oh, underneath it. Underneath the scalpel bowl. Let's go! Outstanding. Oh, gets bursted right, out. Has, has a lot out. of meter. RC? Yeah. RC, Grand Viper again! <laughs> Yo, let's go! Unconditionable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, great stuff for new food, please. Let's go. I am so shocked. <laughs> We saw right, too many he's re He is reading right, the chat right now. <laughs> Yo, my, my man's taking requests mid game. <laughs> oh, nice go. page to knock out of the bench bringer. That's great stuff. Find another 5k. Just the oh, mini are on point here. But oh, gets hit by, hit by the riot stamp, but the mini pass is there. Bandit revolver. Oh, nice. FRC oh, off of the gun flame and able to dude. sneak into dust afterwards. Yeah. Oh, oh, not able to get the last. Ooh. Still we'll got a lot of damage out of that, though. The Impossible Dust combo is beautiful oh, to watch. It, and still ha has a big life lead and still has burst. Ooh, runs into the love there. Gone, but, oh, yeah. Gets hit by oh, the overhead. Boy, you might not have a chance to burst at this rate. Runs up. Bomb is there. <laughs> Jumps up and over the bomb. That was wild. Burst? Immediate yeah. burst. Yeah, yeah had to. Had to burst. Oh, I mean, well, if you no. wanted to secure that round, you had to burst there. And that was chosen. But now that might jeopardize getting a burst back here. It'll be very late if it comes back. Yeah, you're, 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 you're right there. I thought, I thought that first round went to Elven Shadow just out of habit, but yeah, like, could have held on to the burst. Ooh. Yeah. Hold up. Good Life is out, even here. Yep, Poison's gonna sort of stop the approach for now. All right, it's over the love. Blocking bomb the screen the here. It's just Oops. bomb was happening on wake up, so no real pain there. Yep. Nice with the RC. Knew That's that he was gonna get enough near. Knew that he was going to get enough meter for the RC. Did not have enough meter for the RC when that Grand Viper started. So smart. Grab, grab the candy bar because hit low. That bomb is going to be a problem, but it does get avoided. Oh, tries to dust and gets chopped yeah. instead. Force break chop. The bomb is there. That's going to be bad. Tries to get oh. the cross up off the bomb. Does Elven Shatter didn't quite work out. Nuclear Cheese yeah. trying to stay on top. Oh, but another <laughs> snipe. J.H. Gets stopped by that jump button. Elven Shadow is your victor in this set. Great stuff. But Cheese made a put a powerful showing in there, but now Elven Shadow again, as you would expect with a player of that level of experience, composed and Whew. ended up closing the door. What a great stuff, great stuff to both players. Great set, very fun to watch, very fast paced, very exciting. And of course, this was a this tournament here was uh, sponsored by Matcher. The prize pool is sponsored by Match Arena with some healthy contributions from a few people. And thanks again to those of you who contributed uh, the extra mile there. That's extremely humbling. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you all for your contributions and for supporting and spreading the word. And mm -hmm. for just coming by and watching. And for coming by and playing. Everything. All y'all yeah, if, if you're here on the stream in one capacity or another, you are fantastic. And we appreciate you. Absolutely. All right. That was a total blast, Agri Craig. It has been a delight. Uh, those Metrino codes are also still valid for a little bit past when the tournament's over. So if you haven't yet, please, please, please go cash out those Metrino codes. It also gives people a heads up about how many codes you're getting used in an event. Gives us information. So please, 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 even if the tournament's over, go contribute. Uh, thank you so much to Agri Craig and JMD and uh, Teto. It's Teto. Yes. I always, well, we always thank Teto for working behind the scenes. 
Uh, and obviously, thank you so much to Swell for stopping, for coming through and being a commentator. Always an anchor for us. You're fantastic. Absolutely. Love with you. Always a delight. Y'all are so pleasant to work with, and it's very exciting games, and such a warm, warm atmosphere to be in all, all at the same time. So thank you. And that link was just dropped in chat for our the match arena for our Blaze Blue tournament tomorrow. Please come through. Drop that thing. Um, and I'm also going to grab another link to post in chat for our tournament next week, which I believe we already have a bracket ready for if people want to register. Uh, I, know, I know you put this somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> Alright, cool. And yeah, this I'm happens... Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm bad at Discord. But yeah, so yeah, this is a weekly... We got a weekly for Guilty Gear on Thursday, Blaze Blue on Friday. Feel free to come through, support on Match Arena, enter the bracket, watch the stream, all that good stuff. All right, I think that's our sign off. Any other uh, announcements or anything to cover, JMD? Or are we are we piecing out? I I think we're good. Uh, it's been a it's been an awesome bracket today. Uh, Swell Agro Craig, thank you for much so much for holding it down on the on the on the comms as they mm -hmm. say. Um, and everyone else, we will uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow with uh, Blaze Blue. Make sure to sign up. Uh, hit that Match Arena. Um, and Guilty Gear will in fact be back next week on Thursday, and we'll uh, we'll see you then. Uh, until then, uh, be be good to each other. Um, look both ways before you cross the road, and uh, keep it spicy. Be good and take care of yourselves, y'all. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>